Just getting everything set up. Oh. I hate that I have to be squinty nose with my glasses so that I can see in the, uh, out of my progressives here. Just letting my community know that I am live. Hey, Passamaquoddy. Thanks for coming in. Hello, Dolly. Marissa Schultz. Thanks for popping in. It's one of my cadults. Oh, there's another one of my cadults. Hi, Emsley. Oh, I'm seeing on the, uh, on the YouTube, um, there's a whole bunch of hearts coming up. Hearts, 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 hearts. That's kind of cool. Oh, hey, South Florida sunshine. That's okay. You know, I'll be here until M's put away or put, put, put away, put down, put to sleep. Hey, there's another one of my cadults. Hey, Simon. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Passamaquoddy. Listening and crocheting. You know, it's like you get to be a part of the community listening and then, uh, you know, your hands get to be busy. Hey, my crooked little homestead. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate that. All the way from Ontario. It's late for you. That's awesome. Just letting some more people come in. Hey, almost homesteading. You're still awake. I was going to suggest go have a little sleepy poo. When we when we talked uh, an hour and a bit ago, I thought, oh, you could get a little nap in. But again, you know, for Janet, it's very late as well. It's a late night. And it's hard. Um, it's hard to schedule. Um, oh, hey, hello. How to garden. It's hard to schedule a really good time to do um, a live because we all do live in so many different time zones. And then there's lots of people that are doing lives that, you know, I go and I participate in. Like earlier today, I was at GT Junior um, Grows in Alaska. I was on his, his, uh, watching his live earlier. So, so, oh, Passamaquoddy, I'm working on a potholder set for the garden community. Oh, that's so kind. Oh, yes, you're, uh, you can sleep in tomorrow because, yes, you've been working like a, a little puppy dog. So anyway, yeah. People coming in, just saying their hellos. And I think, you know, some of you don't necessarily know one another. And my night bot will be um, putting, um, will be putting up the uh, code for, I think it's, I think it's, um, I don't know what it is. I'm not even going to try to say, but it's, it's like, it's either hash, no, it might not be hashtag diva. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Night seems to work really well for this group. Well, for some people, it does work. Works great for me because you guys are all up. It's one o'clock in the morning, you know, and for me, it's, uh, is it only 10 at that? 11, 12, 1? Yeah, it's only 10 o'clock. So, oh, what did you do here? My crooked little homestead. I went to my very first Ontario Homesteaders Community Festival today and had a creative time. I talked so much and forgot to take pics. Oh, no. That's brutal. Uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm jealous because I have seen other homesteading communities over in, um, like, you know, over in Ontario or, and, and that, and that they come together and there's nothing up here in, um, British Columbia, like in the West Coast, um, yet. And so, you know, it it's getting my mind swirling where it's like, okay, I just need to kind of connect with some other homesteaders here. Uh, maybe not on the island, just because it's so expensive to get on the island, but to do something in the lower mainland, like in the Vancouver area, or even, you know, heading over to Alberta, trying to create something there so that we have some representation on the West Coast and support. So, yeah, so 
Yes, thank you, South Florida Sunshine. Please hit that like. But yeah. Oh, there's a good question. What's your favorite thing that you learned? I would love to know that too. Yeah, everybody's just saying some hellos to one another. And I will drop the link um, for those that want to come up and um, chat with me. Uh, it would be be great. So, you know, do give me a heads up, um, Carol, once uh, M's put. Oh, what did you do here? Oh, <laughs> I know. But then, you know what? Then you're just going to be, you know, smooth and loose and it'll be great. So everybody just saying some hello. So I don't know if you got that. Um, Oh, there I'm clicking. Um, there, I'm going to put that one back up. So, uh, Cricket Homestead, I'm not sure if you are typing it out and uh, letting um, letting us know what was the favorite thing that you learned or was it just connecting with people? Because I think that would be the thing that I would love the most. So, and I forgot to ask. <laughs> Y'all can hear me, right? Because uh, I think like two minutes before the, the chat started, it was like, it was touch and go. It was like, oh, I have to change a setting um, for my interface. And then it wasn't working, but I could still like my, my camera will pick up sound. But it was my interface wasn't quite snugly plugged in. <laughs> plugged in. Plugged <laughs> in. Okay, thank you. Well, I think, I think with all the talking I've been doing, it, you know, you know, it's like it's kind of a redundant question because, um, you know, nobody is uh, saying, uh, we can't hear you, Maureen. We can't hear you. So <laughs> uh, I hope you're going to pass the lozenges out to everybody. You know, it's not fair that you just give them to almost homesteading. So. Mm -hmm. I was making sure I had hit the loo before I came came on and that. So awesome. Awesome. So um I I will put the link in because I don't know, uh maybe almost homesteading you'll wanna come up. Uh no, that's not what I want. Oh, invite. I'm still learning this software. Gah. Uh, <laughs> what is uh i don't get to see what this face fuchsia wide eyes oh <laughs> i can see it on on uh the uh, desk on the the desktop over here so i just get the words and it's like face fuchsia wide eyes <laughs> oh and i was really glad that you made that video about the peppers hoping to move mine inside tomorrow oh that's awesome thank you yeah, and I and I did respond to you saying, do make sure that, like you know, they will continue to produce, um, and I I find that mine will stay green and will keep kind of flowering right into um, the spring, but then the problem comes is that it hasn't had a dormant dormancy time, and that's what my I should have explained that on the video is that my dormancy I'll I'll do. Because typically what you can do with your peppers, so you get your second year in, is you bring the, you know, dig it up, put it in a pot, clip all the branches, anywhere that there is a nice Y, you you would just clip there and there. And that, that way you're going to have, you know, two more branches starting out. Um, and I do that and they're, they're fine. They're fine for, you know, quite some time. And then once the spring comes, I go, okay, no, we're going to die now. And they all die. So I just thought, well... I will just bring them in, let them keep growing, keep watering them and feeding them, not feeding them regularly. Uh, like, you know, it's like, you know, maybe, maybe once a month I'll, I'll give them some food, but watering them and then being able to harvest all the, the peppers throughout the winter season. And I, I am hoping that maybe, maybe I can shut it down, you know, by December and, and start clipping the branches but because they're in a warm environment in my studio they're not gonna they're not gonna go hey it's time to go to sleep so but oh and what did you say you have 
I've got two jalapenos off, off of it today. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you go, I've got two. I would like more. So I want to say, I talked with young people who raise sheep. I asked them which would be best for, for my area, which I'm hoping to start doing in the spring. The young man told me which breed would be, all, be able to be best. Oh, that's awesome. That's super great. So no problem, Janet. That's okay. That's all right. So yes, I know that you, you did have, you had subscribers mode, which, you know, I, um, Carol, I'm going to have to ask you a couple of questions because, you know, just how you start your lives and that, but you know, that's something that we could maybe do just as a private live and uh, you could walk me through some of the stuff that you do, but <laughs> I can't imagine a plant living in my house till spring. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So you're looking into getting sheep and I think, um, my cricket little homestead on tag and bees, um, they call you the terminator. Is that correct? I think that's the name that, that, uh, they call you. I think it's tag and bees, um, live. Um, yeah. And so, uh, just let me just confirm that just so that I'm not, um, thinking that it's something weird. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know that I want sheep, but I do. Well, I, it's like goats are so handy and such good little workhorses that uh, I would like to have goats, but you know, they got those crazy devil eyes. And so then that, that makes me uncomfortable because I don't know if it's plotting against me when it's looking at me, but it could be looking at me with, you know, kindness and love, but I would still think it was plotting. But the idea of having, um, goats to do some of the labor of, you know, getting rid of brambles and things like that. So anyway, and I learned by taking videos and pictures, it allows me to see how fast certain trees can grow. Oh, and yeah, that's cool. Oh, there it is. So it's exclamation point diva to drop your link. And that way, um, if you do that, then your, your actual link will come up. And then those that don't know um, who you are, they'll be able to come over and check you out. So, ooh, you're moving your pineapple tree out of the greenhouse and into your cabin. And yes, Tag gave me the, the name Terminator, right? <laughs> That's right. Uh, you've got a pineapple tree. That's so cool. No, Maureen, you cannot go and start trying to grow a pineapple tree. You have enough trees that you're dealing with. So just ignore that comment and don't get all excited about it. I'd have a little chat with myself in front of you all. So. Oh, yes. I want mini cows, but then concerned about them being too cute for steaks. <laughs> oh, yes. And my crooked little homestead. Um, again, I know you're in Canada here, but you live like in really cold, cold weather. Um, so, yeah. So it's like when you say pineapple tree, I'm going, she's got a pineapple tree. I live, uh, I live in a milder, you know, climate, but no, Maureen, you do not need to take on growing a pineapple. Hey, CC, Texas Garden, thanks for coming in. That's awesome. Thanks for coming and hanging out. You have a pineapple plant, but is this tree you speak of? Oh, what is it? So I think it's the same thing. Like it's because pineapples are, are really like bushes. So she's probably meaning, uh, Pineapple bush is what she's probably referring to. That's what I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, my uh, eldest adult, oops, uh, they, that's not the one that I wanted. It was about your, um, uh, the wanting a mini cow. My eldest adult, she wants a mini cow. So yes, there you go. Yes, my winters get down to minus 45. That is minus 45 Celsius, uh, which, you know, let's go and just even have a look, look a little poo of that. Hey, my mumsy. Here's my mum. I'm her youngest. So I get, I get called that. Minus 45 Celsius to Fahrenheit. I, oh, that is not correct. Oh, I didn't put minus. That's right. There we go. Oh, so minus 45 is minus 49 for the rest of you. 
um, uh, for those of you in the States, you get minus 49. So she lives in minus 49 weather. So, oh, you have a pineapple plant also, but you live in Texas. So that's, a, um, it's an easier thing to do. Um, you know, it's like, she's, she's doing a great job if she can keep that, um, that pineapple alive in minus 45 weather. <laughs> Aw, that's so cool. Your mom's name is Barbara, too. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. You thought it was another fruit with pineapple in the cultivar name. Yeah. So, awesome. So, I wanted this, um, I wanted this live uh, you know, when I was thinking about what, what do I want to talk about? What do I want to glean or, and I just go, okay, the things that are most frustrating for me, you know, it's this, um, because bottom line, um, you know, people go, well, I just want to share my videos, but it's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm working hard towards monetization. That's what I would like to have. And, and the thing is, is that one of the things I do love is, um, encouraging people, you know, people that would be like me, who never grew a thing in their lives, or like Janet said, you know, you know, good luck keeping a plant alive into the spring. Um, my home consists of uh, mostly spider plants, because if, if there is a drought for six months, the plant um, will somewhat hang on and uh and still go and then it'll turn around and then if i overwater it if it's it, if it ends up being where you know here let me flood it it still hangs on and also spider plants are one of your best plants for um filtering the air but it's a plant that can survive me and that's kind of that's where i kind of go okay i do have a couple of other plants and i am trying to be a bit more diligent but i was a person who could not keep anything alive i can keep children alive that i've done successfully plants no Anyway, oh, oh, awesome. Um, and so I, uh, I'm a, I'm a brand new newbie, you know, grower and learning as I go and then recording as I go and stuff like that. And so I love being able to encourage people that, hey, if you're like me and you can't grow, you know, ding, ding thing. Yes, you can. And it might be small. It might be in a pot or it might be, you know, and here's some techniques. So that's what I, I like to try to do. But this, um, you know, the process, as all of you content creators know, is um, <laughs> is is that it does take a very, very long time um, to move into monetization. I'm not sure uh, how many of you here are monetized. Oh, thank you, Cece. Thank you very much. How many of you are monetized? Can you just give me a yes? Yeah, I just saw that. That's so cool. 45 years and you raise your own meat. That is just absolutely fantastic. And that's what most of us are, are um, trying to achieve. You know, that's, that is one of my uh, things that I'm working on. So, hey, growing out of the box. Thank you very much for coming in. So I'm asking people if they are monetized. So by saying uh, uh, yes, okay. Oh, hey, Broke Cowgirl Homestead. Thanks for coming in. Okay, great. See, so you're the people that I want to talk to. You're the people that I want to kind of, you know, get some information from. And I will um, drop the link here that if you want to come up and talk rather than trying to type out, uh, um, that would be awesome. Yeah, I know, I know, Carol, that you want to be, you know, but it's like, you know, there is some circumstances in your life that, that, uh, you know, you're moving towards it, you're getting there. Um, but you, you know, your son takes up a lot of your time. And I think that you, it's not easy to necessarily be able to balance um, something has to give and making videos has to give bottom line. So, Hey, Homestead Aquarius. Thank you for coming in. So 
<laughs> You're feeding your face at the moment. That's awesome. Oh, what do you mean monetized? Oh, that you're making money from uh, from your videos being played. Monetization. You've made partnership with YouTube. That's what I'm looking at. Oh, you're eating. You're eating your. That's awfully late to be eating your dinner, sir. So that's what I mean by monetized. But um, you know, I I personally I do watch. Um, a few videos. Um, and so I did, I kind of wrote down some notes and things like that. Oh, awesome. I want to see what you're saying. Thanks for saying. And you don't have to show your face if you come up. I don't want to come up, but I will say my subs and watch hours all happened at once because of a goat birthing video or say like three videos because they all had babies within a week or so. That's so cool. So it's, it's like you almost need to have something. Um, huge show up and that makes that difference um i don't have goats <laughs> no i don't understand that part oh you just put videos on okay all right that yeah um yeah it's uh that elusive um thing with monetization where you know you're making some money off of it but but it's you know paying attention to the algorithm and things like that. So I appreciate, um, I appreciate you sharing that, um, broke, broke cow, cowgirl. I appreciate that. What? One goat had seven babies. That's one video that went crazy. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Broke, you need to, uh, put exclamation point diva in there. So that if, if people are not subscribed to you, that they'll come over and have a look at uh, that video with the seven babies. So. Oh, nice. So you just, I don't even edit. Oh, I've seen yours and yours are great. Like your, your videos, it's, it's, you know, they just have a flow, you know, it's, it's uh, awesome. Maybe I need to have a chick hatch. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that would, uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready to, to, um, do my own baby chicks yet. I think I'm, uh, I think there's a lot, a lot of work and a lot of stress with it. If I, if I could trust my chickens, um, you know, to sit on them and take care of it. Uh, uh, and also, you know, I got to hit somebody when they're broody and then be able to try to find fertilized eggs and, 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 and so, um, Yeah. That would be kind of uh, a cool thing. I know that Larks, she uh, had a, um, a baby chick cam and, you know, and would let it run 24 hours. So, you know, if I was bored, I would just come and look, you know, at the video um, and watch these little, you know, they'd all of a sudden sleep and then up. And, and it was very, very, very sweet. Uh, I have, um, I've, I started... In 2022, February 2022. So I'm coming up to my second year. And uh, uh, is what I'm doing. So, yeah. It is long. So you said, once you get your subs and watch hours, you have to start the process of getting all the stuff filled out. It's literally a nightmare. And they make it almost impossible. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I'm kind of feeling in regards to just how... Um, difficult but not difficult it is to get partnership and um and so that's uh um that's that's another thing where I kind of think okay yeah you know and being in Canada like is it is there going to be another you know some sort of sort of hassle but um Oh, what do you got to say there? Growing out of the box. Monetization is one of those things you never thought you needed until you have it. Depends on how serious you are about growing your business as a content creator. Yeah. And I think, I think one of um, a friend of mine who goes to my church, like, you know, she was, I don't know, sitting, you know, at 800, 800 for the longest time. And then something, you know, just bam hit. And last Christmas, and she, you know, got her monetization, and then she's hit two, and then just recently, I thought she's, I think she's at twelve thousand. Um, and um, and one of the things she said is that that she got a 
a, you know, like a email from them and said, you know, hey, that video you just posted was um, not up to snuff to the other one. So we're not going to push it out. So we think you should do videos like this and this and this. So I think there is a, there's a lot more to it than just um, being able to um, go, wait, yay, now I'm making some money. Uh -huh. um, Cece, I, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> I think uh, the last time I looked, at, it was a hundred and, or no, not hundred, <clears throat> 1,078. Just this past week, I finally hit over a thousand and I've stayed over a thousand. So that is one of those things where um, it's been difficult uh, because you only get the watch time hours, the 4,000 watch time hours that's in this in the 365 day calendar. So as I drop off, you know, and I might've had some really big um, views from some of those videos. Well, you know, they keep going by the wayside. So, hey, Gregory Kissel. Oh, hello from central Nebraska. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in. So I am not close with my watch time hours, but I'm working on it. And that's kind of why I'm doing the live, the lives I'm trying to do them every Saturday. Um, you know, so, you know, how in depth we get into this, you know, cause I, I also would just like to have some fun, but, uh, um, you know, this past week I, you know, I, so I wrote down, so some of the videos that uh, video sites that I like to watch for learning is vidIQ and, you know, they have a sign up for that, for theirs. You can use the free one, but then it becomes very li limited and the sign up, it's like, I don't know that I want to invest that much mental of learning. Uh, how to, you know, maneuver through it. And then Think Media, they're good. And what I like about Think Media and Primal Video is, especially Primal Video, uh, because when it's like, okay, how do you edit on an iPhone or an iPad or on an Android? And he takes you through, like for my old brain, it's like nice and slow and I can stop and then go, okay, you know, and watch. And so that's kind of how I learned some of my editing um, things. So I, I like, I don't, I don't invest a lot of time watching them. If something kind of comes up and it kind of piques my interest, I go, okay, you know, I'm going to watch that to see what I can learn. So um, <laughs> that was a question that I had. Do you look at your analytics? Um, I look, I look at as much as I can understand because like, it's like, you know, it's almost like, okay, look at this analytics here and then look at this analytics here and then look at this analytics here. Um, so I, I just kind of limit myself because it's like, okay, I don't know what that, I don't know what that means and how to make that better or how to make that worse. So these are great questions, Cece. I really appreciate it. So yes, I know I am just getting started and have a good place. Yeah. No worries about that. Um, yeah, I, I, I get it. Um, but there is that, that, uh, just because I, it, like once I make partnership, it's like, woo, you know, you make a buck 18, you know, so it's not, but it's, it's this long term game that I'm trying to, um, just better myself and also to encourage others that want to better themselves. So Baroque Cowgirl Homestead, while I was working on filling all the YouTube stuff, I took time to do some research on actually shooting a video. I try to remember to use what I learned, but sometimes I still just do what's a habit or what's easiest. Yes. Um, I, I, I've done a little bit of that and it's like, Oh, that's a cool effect, you know, for making your B roll. And I suck at B roll. You know, it's like, I, you know, I'll end up having, you know, I'm trying to go make a pan across the, the lavender and you go, why do I have 15 shots of that are all like, you know, shaky and, so I'm, I'm wanting to get a, I'd like to get a gimbal is what I would like to do. Growing out of the box. Certain videos aren't eligible for monetization based on content. You can post those videos, but you won't get paid. Everything changes if you plan to grow it as a business. Ah, very good. Very, very interesting. That's very good. Good to note. Yeah. Like I have, I have one, I have a, one of me, um, of dressing a chicken. And I know some people have where they weren't allowed to have theirs on at all. And, um, and I, so I have no idea that when 
when I do get monetized, if I will be allowed to use that particular video, I don't know. So, oh, growing out of the box. I live in my analytics. It's a must. Your analytics is the roadmap to your success. Ah, well, again, I watch some of these videos and some like, you know, I do like, um, I do like uh, Nick Nimmin and um, vidIQ, but both those guys, they talk super, super fast. And, you know, and again, even if I stop and it's like, oh, my brain has to try to process it. I, um, I, I'm trying to learn a little bit more. So, oh, Lark seems to understand analytics. Yeah. Well, then I'll just have to <laughs> do a chat with her. It's like, uh, I understand some of it and some of it. And so I, I go with what's as much as I can. Um, but I want to know that uh, for those of you, oh, let's just see. Yes. Whoops. Not that one. It's this one here. Look to see what your audience likes video wise. Also see what time to drop your video. I do do that. Shorts are what get you the numbers right now. Yes. And I do that. I basically do one long form, two shorts every single week. And, um, uh, and you know, and it's like, I don't know if I can base it on like what, what my audience likes. Cause one of the things though I have noticed is that like, I'm always about editing it down, um, to make the video shorter. Cause I just go, here's five minutes, you know, for myself, when I'm looking at videos, it go, that video is five minutes long. Okay. I got time. I can watch that one. Um, so I'm always of this mind, less, 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 less. And I'm editing, editing, editing. And, um, and then over the last, I don't know, month, it's like any of my videos that were 18, 20 minutes long, those have, you know, hundreds of views where my four and five minute videos have like, um, under a hundred views. And it's like, Hmm, that's very interesting. Yes. Nick is good, but he talks a mile, a freaking minute. And I can't understand him. I understand your Southern accent way more than I understand Nick. And he is good. You know. Ah, here we go. Here's a good question. How did you learn about understanding analytics? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. You watch Deep South Homestead. Danny brought me back in connection with God on Porch time. And he is so full of knowledge. Oh, Deep South Homestead. That's kind of cool. Hey, Moon Sprout. Thanks for coming in. You also edit to condense. Mm hmm. Yeah. But that that's just what I've noticed. Um, and I don't know. And, and I would have to actually do a comparison of the long videos and the short videos all in this this time frame. Um, not short videos, but they're like they're shorter, long, long videos. Um, because it's like, am I just getting a click? Do I, you know, it's like, have I had, you know, 450 people watch that, watch the video full? Or were they just clicking and going, eh, no, not her. Eh, no, not her. Um, and, I, and I, so I don't know. Um, that, that's another uh, interesting question. Ah, Danny and Wanda, Deep South Homestead. Okay. Did that, were you able to put that up, that? <laughs> what did I miss here? Or no, it's coming up. Accent, what accent? I don't have an accent. You have an accent. <laughs> yeah, see, so I like to watch shorter videos that are around 20 minutes or less. Okay, you're you're much longer than myself. Um, I like to, you know, especially for those in the community or like in our homesteading community or even just people that I'm YouTube friends with, you know, I like to take that time and I'll comment throughout the video, um, you know, putting a timestamp on it. I, I like to do that. Um, so then I feel like we're having a conversation. I think it's kind of a cool thing. But I did just see someone in the Homesteaders uh, YouTube on Facebook. They, um, one person said, she said, you know, now that, that the busyness, and I think like she's like, a, a, like, you know, big farm, like, you know, has the whole, I have chickens and vegetables. Um, but it's like now that that, you know, where the season is dying down, she said, now I spend the fall catching up on videos from friends and, and that, and, and she'll just watch all the videos that she missed of, you know, her favorite content creators. And I think that's a great thing to do, um, through the winter, you know, to be supporting one another. 
So, yeah. Okay. And the graphs are self-explanatory. Pay attention to what is happening in your video when the graph is up. That tells you what is holding viewers' attention. Oh, so then growing, uh, hey, storm cities and cats. So then, so then basically um, what you're saying is that the graphs are self-explanatory. Pay attention to what is happening in your video when the graph is up. That tells you what, what's holding the viewer's attention. So are you talking about the one that is the, what they call the hockey stick where, you know, you your first 30 seconds and you see people drop off and then it, you know, kind of continues going down. I'm wondering if that's what that means. And I think there was, um, oh, here. Yeah. Don't cut them short. You will need videos to be eight minutes or longer. Um, to get more than one commercial. Yes. I, I didn't know about it, the commercial, but I knew that they need to be eight minutes. Um, and I'm trying just because I was saying, Hey, my, I get more views on a longer video. So I'm trying to, but my style of, of, um, recording, it's like, geez, Maureen, like record more, take the time to record some more, you know? Um, because I think I've got lots. And then when I edit it down, you're like, no, there you go. So I'm, I am trying to keep in that 10 minute mark, um, you know, for whatnot. So, and watching your analytics is crucial to success. Yeah. Like I said, I watch, I can't tell you what parts I watch and I do check to see, you know, when are your, um, subscribers on YouTube. That's usually when I am posting. So um, yeah. And moon spread. I make short videos. I feel there are definitely pros and cons. Retention rates are generally better. Five minute goals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I did notice moon sprout and I, and that's, you were kind of my inspiration was, um, doing these premieres, you know, and it's cause it's great that you get to talk with one another. And, um, also what I'm finding is that, you know, if, you know, because my viewership uh, for a, let's say a live or, um, a premiere, it's not super huge, but if, so if I got 10 people and they're all watching, you know, my 15 minute video, that is a really good push, you know, to the algorithm in, in my mind, that's what I'm thinking. It's like, it's already had some good momentum for them to, you know, kind of, um, uh, put it out there, which could be why those, cause I do it with the long form videos. I don't feel like, I don't like today's, today's video, I think it was, I think it was around, it was eight or 10 minutes. And I just thought, oh, you know, every week I ask, you know, the community, hey, come watch the premiere with me. And I thought, you know, give them a break. They don't need to come and, you know, waste another, you know, or not waste, but they don't really need to stop their life and go, come and watch my video for eight minutes with me and talk to me. Um, so it's kind of what I did. Um, so Hello from Victoria. Hey, well, on the farm, South Illinois. Anyway, what did you say? Home, most of my popular videos are also longer. Interesting. Uh, apparently, like they like to spend time with you. That could be. So. Oh, yes. Yes, because you are in that late world. So. Good night. Thanks for coming in. I really appreciate it uh, of you spending the, you know, a little bit of time with us. So I, uh, and I know you, you live, you are the most off grid person I think that I know. So anyway, take care and uh, God bless you too. I've watched some lives which have commercial break-ins. Why is that happening? That's a, a feature I do believe that they can add in um, to it to have the commercials. And I think yeah, I, I'm not going to speak before that because like I have premium, uh, YouTube premium and I don't know if you're, yeah, I guess, I guess the commercial would be for everybody, whether you have premium or not. So, um, yeah, see, there's a thing I, I, you like the short videos because you can watch them during your work breaks. Yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. Thanks for coming in, bro cowgirl. It was great. I really appreciate, you know, some of the uh, things that you were sharing with us. And I hope that you put your link in. Um, 
And so that we can uh, go over and see those seven babies, seven babies born. So, so what have you noticed since starting the premieres? Um, I find I'd have to do uh, a few more, but I, what I'm finding is that, that, like I said, that, that first initial push is that, you know, I've got 10, 10 people right from the start that are watching it and commenting, you know, and so all those comments are also um, showing that, oh, people really like this. I don't know if they do, if they have a different algorithm for premieres um, that uh, are, that these, uh, I lost my train of thought there. I don't know that if the premieres are treated the same way as just a regular video being posted. I don't know that. So that's where I'd like to uh, um, have a bit more. So, yeah. So use shorts as a tool, not for, for something to post, have purpose in your post. Yeah. Well, today that's what I've done is I took today's video and chopped it down into a one minute kind of promo um, to, and I'll, and I'm going to run that one tomorrow because of course it's in a different world, but I just want to let um, the video from today have it, its own life to see how well it's going to build. And then tomorrow bringing the short up of, you know, kind of, it's not, it's a promo video. It's just showing bits and pieces, but it just says, you know, see the full video. So I'm going to try that. I've done that a couple of times. So I also like short videos too, ahead of anyone other than Mama Owl to take the time on a video. Yeah. Two no notifications go out with premieres. What does that mean, Moonsprout? Two notifications go out with premieres. Does it tell you, it, do you mean like it tells you that a premiere is coming and then it tells you that the premiere is happening, right? Is that what you're meaning? I don't know. I'm a, I must be allergic to something on my desk because it's like, this is the same thing last night. It's like my nose gets itchy and now I'm getting a little stuffed up, you know, it's weird. Hmm. Yeah, and I think growing out of the box, I um, with the shorts, um, I like to do them just as something um, to try to learn how to tell a quick story. So I am working um, working on that. Is that you know here is one minute that you know, and I would like to you know get them less and less. And sometimes I think about them, you know, like um, I actually think about you know, the start, middle, and the end. And sometimes it develops and sometimes it's like, oh shoot, I missed, I missed, <laughs> I missed filming part of this dinner part. So it was just like, I just ran, ran through, you know, it was our, our uh, Thanksgiving dinner because I wanted to get shots throughout the whole, um, the whole day, just these little things to do a, a, a quick video. But it was like already, you know, I'd had basically uh, nine people through, through um, our, smorgasbord or whatever you want to call it and so it was like I'm not I don't have nice full bowls of the food and stuff but it was like yeah. so right so just like a live stream is what Homestead Aquarius is saying so live in 30 and then live now yeah so yeah it is that is a good thing that's very good I will send it over Hey, here comes Carol. Boop. Here we got our. So I do, I do gardening. So all my shorts are just that. The short answer, YouTube rewards you for that. Oh, okay. I know I have seen some of your videos. I It has been a while since I've seen, seen them growing out of the box. Um, but uh, yeah, that is another another good thing. Here comes Carol. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn down your sound on my phone. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's what I did hey, last night. Sprout. What you had yours up? Yeah. I had it. Was like, why am I hearing her twice? What am I doing? So I was checking on here too. I'm like, oh, do I have it? Oh, oh you're already getting you're already getting a lecture. I won't be trouble. <laughs> Look at that face. How could that face be, be trouble? I promise. Mm -hmm. 
regarding so all my shorts are just that the short answer yeah okay yeah mm -hmm. and so growing out of the box do you um are you uh, so what is your format because it's like do you have uh where you're telling a story or like you know you have that you know uh, how do they put it where it's like you started out and here's the problem and mm. you're, you know, and then there's a solution in the end. Like there's some of that, you know, it's, it doesn't really work with gardening. You know, yeah. The problem is, is that I've got to get those vegetables in. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Growing out of the box. If you just do um, exclamation point diva, it will bring your, um, your, your, channel up so i'm not right. sure how how often my my uh, night bot is doing that yeah growing so. out of the box is doing quite well so whatever they are yeah. doing yeah it's like here's something that we can em emulate mm -hmm. long form or short i <sighs> give the entire story oh okay but um so what i'm meaning is do you um do you take the time to write out a script or are you just flying in and like the oh, whole I love him I know who this is now oh, I'm sorry Maureen no, no, I love okay. you growing out of the box I love your yes. thing on blueberries you're awesome yes yes okay uh, easy to easy to listen to and mm -hmm. and to watch like it's just like there's a, a great yeah. flow like you're so talking then, to your neighbor mm -hmm. so you can also remix um your long form videos into shorts easy peasy content yeah and that's mm -hmm. basically what I did with today's video is I just used in my iMovie it's um it's not the movie maker it's something else that that is for doing that and and the one thing I will say about I'm just going to look at what it is here one of the things that I really like about it is that oh. it's it's I teaching me I'm just going to do this iMovie uh, oh, it's movie. I think it's the movie magic. Start a new project. Movie magic. And it choose it says choose media from photos and let the iMovie create the movie for you. So what I like is that, you know, it's not all accurate. So it, like it'll have me going, you know, and that's that's the part of the video. And it's like, yeah, I don't not want that. But what I like about it is that it's this, it's it shows me, man, Maureen you said a lot of stuff in 10 minutes that you could have done in one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Most, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably the most accurate reason some things don't get posted from me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like, um, How do I edit this? What do I yeah. do with this? Yeah. So I do, I do really like the fact that um, it's, it's showing me just how how some editing can be done and it was like oh look at they turned that where I'm talking you know my hands mm -hmm. moving around but they but they silenced it so it's like this b-roll so you don't know what I'm talking about mm. hey GT Jr <laughs> thanks that for was coming which, in what was the app that you used for that one you oh think? I use I use um iMovie so yeah, I iMovie. use iMovie yeah that's a yeah. good one yeah I, I use it on it my phone on my on my well I don't use it on my um my little whatever that thing is called it it's fairly new to me what is it uh, ipad because mm -hmm. it doesn't have enough memory and then i i did get a a macbook and um i have tried directing traffic from from instagram and from tiktok but i Those think are hard that's hard to do i've heard other yeah, people yeah but and i think like listening to jason from seven kin mm -hmm. um when he's doing his tiktoks he doesn't say youtube he says it rhymes with with bluetooth or blue or you know blue sooth and um because i think they that when you are on those other apps mm -hmm. they don't want you to take people away and put them over here right oh, okay. hey we got another lady thanks Yay, for coming up <laughs> I'm so, in my PJ, so I was like, oop. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much in my PJs too. I just hopped mm -hmm. out of the shower. I did like the five minute mama shower real quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just like, hang on. Let me, I'm coming back down here. You, you can also use cringy 10 trending music and turn the volume way down though, telling for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this.
this one growing out of the box. I write scripts for my shorts. There's, there is a new feature that allows you to link videos, shorts, pointing to long form. Awesome tool. Not many know about. And that's oh. basically what I, what I'm doing right now growing out of the box is, is I did the video today, made the short um, for it. And then I've, I've got it linked up to come up, come up tomorrow, but it is linking to this one. So. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about that. I've seen people do it, <laughs> but I didn't know how they did it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can. Well, I, I think you can chop the video using YouTube's software, which I think um, is not always the best, not always the best. I'm afraid but... of YouTube software that I'll go live accidentally. <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> or accident. like or like I did this one time where I'm I'm you know in a long gas station line and you know and I'm just setting it up and then yeah. all of a sudden it goes live and now I have to go up front and I you know <laughs> went and canceled it and it was like yeah you know it was like oopsie didn't mean to do that and uh <laughs> Homestead Aquarius goes like okay Maureen was there and then it was like taken away right away so mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, almost homesteading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. It. Growing out of the box, would you would you mind coming up and so that we can just you know I can pick your brain a little bit more. And you, again, you do not have to be on camera, darling. I would um, do that. But yes, I was wanting to see this. I write scripts for my shorts. Oh yeah, and that's what you said. That's the new feature. So. And they always say to make your thumbnail first. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know that I can. Thumbnail first. Uh, yeah, I don't know that I can. But one, one thing that I. Um, you said, no, not the clip. It's called link. Hmm. It's called link. No, not the clip. And when it comes to shorts, you never know what is going to get your audience attention. No. No, no, you never know because uh -huh. if you plan well, things and try to script it, it doesn't mean it's going to be, Thanks you know, in. a lot mm -hmm. of people watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can say have a... just do whatever you, you know, want to show about your garden or, you know, you have amazing fruits and vegetables coming out all the time. So, kind of see what, um, when you do a short what is popular mm -hmm. because I noticed that when I do anything about rain especially because Texas was like in a drought mm -hmm. so anytime I put like hashtag Texas weather or something like that then I got more views because of, you know oh, okay anything with rain, rain like, yes as a, as <laughs> people as a title. For it. um the hashtags is what oh what the hashtags okay yes so mm. you got to be more specific, maybe on your hashtag. Make sure you put hashtag shorts first, you know, as as when you're doing your shorts. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing I was grabbing a hold of was, um, oh yeah, I was. It was a. I think it's a guy in Africa, and and he had a live on, and um, and he would do the spinning wheel and people could put their name in and he would kind of do a quick audit of your, of your channel. And a couple mm -hmm. of things that were super important was, um, you know how some people you'll see at, uh, you, you would see at Dave in the dirt sta um, dash Maureen Washington, and then five, seven, three, two, two, five, that number, you need to get rid of it. You need to, you shouldn't. And then there's so many people that have that number. Like it's just a number that they have given to us. Um, it is your number. But you don't want it to be, you want it to be at Maureen or at Diva in the Dirt dash Maureen mm. Washington. Mm. You know, so um, that was that one little thing. And then the other thing was that I, you know, it was like, uh, like if I was to, you know, I started, I'm, I'm watching this and I like what I'm, you know, seeing. And then I'm looking at my, my own channel was that on your thumbnails, it should be five words or less like five is kind of pushing it you should be doing it in four words or less and it was like oh my gosh can I figure this out um and to have it you know big and bold because you've got people that are you know most of the time when they're going to open this up this is what they're looking at and yeah. so you need it to stand out mm. and so 
with this last video, um, I do feel a little bit proud of it. Um, not of the video, but proud of my um, coming up with my thumbnail because it was like, I was going to go with the fall coming, you know, plants need to come inside, you know, and it was like, okay, how do I change that? How do I make it less? And I came up with winterizing cardamom, peppers, and lemons. Oh, and so yeah. there, there's my four words. And it was like, oh, I did it. I did so it. do you and use so, Canva? I do not use, I use, I don't use Canva to make my thumbnails. I use um, Snappa. Um, I got in, it was somebody's video of training. They said Snappa was uh, reasonably priced. Um, mm -hmm. I think I tried to. I to use Canva. It's free. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah. you know why Canva is free, though? You've got to be careful that NordVPN went right in on Canva and says it leaks our information. So if it's you're using like a free leaks version, our information. I, yeah. I don't worry about it because we're all yeah. on the internet. So we that's anyway, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we're that's all true. vulnerable. <laughs> that's yeah. true. The only thing that I like, be, because like I started out with the Snappa and I pay, um, it's 126 USD a year. So it's about 1050 a month, which is not too bad. But what I realized is that, and, and this is another new thing is that it's allowing me to remove the background really, really well in Canva. You do actually have to pay for it to be able to remove. Like I do use Canva for some things. Like mm -hmm. if I'm making something in Mac, then, um, I need to, if I'm making something in, in the Mac, it doesn't do, um, the portrait style. And so then I can load it over into Canva, but I have just figured out how to do it on a Mac, but, um, I'm, I loaded it over into the Canva and it, and then it put it into the proper perspective for me to, to upload it. Cause you can't do it on a, on the Mac. I and say um, congrats to uh, growing out the box. That's good. That's really oh yeah. Good. I want to see this. You should be intentional and consistent with your shorts. Went from 1400 to approaching 40,000 by Sunday, being very intentional with shorts. Okay. We're all going to your channel and we're just going to go and. So and, now um, how growing out the box, how long you've been on YouTube? I think he took a break, actually. Many people use their cell phones. Um, yes, I, I, use, I use my cell phone. I use an iPhone. Okay. He said a year. He's incredible. Oh, I said a year? One year. Okay. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to take a moment to um, just say I, I absolutely hate you. <laughs> um, I'm just a moment and yeah. then now I'm back to just loving and, and, and supporting you loving we, and supporting you brother yes, yep. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eulogize my channel right now so <laughs> paralyzed I'm just kidding <laughs> I think they mean keep your thumbnail in mind first while making your video it is also important you can't make it first if you're baking sourdough bread but you can plan around it that in this instance yes but no they say make your freaking thumbnail um to start but yes or you know because you I can't make my it. thumbnail after yeah i do too yeah i do too i don't think i'm going to change doing that mm -hmm. but i don't script and i think cuz I, I i think one of my struggles right now that I'm dealing with is, um, is that I, I go, oh, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm needing to put up a tarp, you know, up for the chickens, um, because my chickens are diva chickens, and they don't like to be in the rain. And <laughs> so I think, okay, I'm gonna, you know, I need to make a video about it. But it's like, yeah, but you know, what? I don't really feel like, uh, you know, combing my hair, you know, putting lipstick on and putting a bra on. I just want to go put the ding dang thing up. And, uh -huh. um, you know, or it's like, oh, I should go, I should go um, record picking the X, Y, Z. And it's like, oh, but then I don't want to, I don't want to have to do all that other stuff. Like, not that it's like a lot to get ready. Like, it's like, really, Maureen, like put some lipstick on and go outside, you know, put a toque on your head. <laughs> it's not like, it's not like, well, I need to, you know, do, you know, but it's just mm -hmm. even my own personality, my own. Yeah, my that's own, my personality too. I'm very girly my mental, girl. Like, my, yeah. my mental state will go, I don't feel like talking to people. I don't want to go like, hi, what are you doing today, Maureen? And, you know, it's like, y'all mm -hmm. suck and I suck and, you know, and it's all like, you know, <laughs> I just have that, I'll have a negative moment. And mm -hmm. so then I'll end up leaving what's out in the garden. And, um, and, and it's like, Maureen, you need to get it picked. Well, but I want to videotape it. So what I'm, I'm trying to work in myself. It's like, okay, Maureen, 
you're allowed to do four long-term long videos a month. And, um, and let's think about what those are. What is the season? What, where are we at? What are you going to do? So that I'm making a plan. So it's like, you don't have to film every freaking thing, Maureen. That's what I'm, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going at. So, mm. yeah, I know. How do you make a video without that it should be explained for themselves? Ah, it does make sense. So, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You need to have the video before the picture. Yeah. <laughs> I hate my YouTube voice. It's a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't know. Yeah, yours are um, all quiet, I think. Yeah, I don't remember hearing your voice too often. Voice. It's sprout. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I have ever. I think I think she yeah. just does um like uh, music. Yep. This is somewhat true. You have to see the picture before you make the content, even um, even as you physically do the thumbnail afterwards. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Larks. Yeah, Here's my popcorn lady. <laughs> sorry, sorry about yelling in the uh, into the microphone. I should have done that. Yeah, you got a really good microphone now. I noticed that yesterday. It was like really picking you up. Really, like yes, yes, it does. In my but it, but yeah, what it's oh, well, I've got an interface. I've got an interface um, and a mixing board, so I can. Oh, well, yeah. it's, it's, I can yeah, hear well, it. It sounds yeah. great. It sounds great. Yeah. Well, I um. I didn't like how um, I would sound on the lives because it, you know, mine would be very muffled. Like yours sounds still clear. Okay. And I thought Thank you. I'm a, I'm a musician and mm -hmm. uh, I have this equipment that I was using for um, doing music. Yeah. Uh, but you know, and it's just sitting. Um, like so it's is just... it a condenser mic that you're using? That's condensing. Nope. Oh. Nope. It is not. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's just an Audix, Audix OM5. Well, that had to, to do with the, uh, the the gain. So, like you know, I can I can adjust it to nice. you know change. See now that now that's changing my voice. If I'm mm -hmm. if I start adding in a little bit more warmth, <laughs> you know, or taking that out and making it sound like this. So there's lots a lot of sibilance. You could have so. your own channel just on audio. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I can't because you know I'm a I know singer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a singer, and that's what I do. <laughs> um, these other things, these electronicy things, they it was a little bit. Ugh. Oh, so okay, it's, got you. Uh, it was it even you know it's been three years since I've used an interface, and it was like I don't even know if I know how to set it up. Like you know, <laughs> and I just leave it set up. D don't touch nothing. Oh don't, yeah. Don't touch nothing because I won't remember. But um, yeah, Wild Edibles, I'm usually quiet in my video. Do you, because yeah, I think I have noticed that. Do mm -hmm. you use um, Do you use a, la a lavalier mic or what kind of, what do you record with? Because I do have, um, I do have, I do have these little microphones. Hello, hello. Ooh, it's just like the lapel mics. Yeah, yeah, it's a lavalier um, mic microphones, but um, they That's still pick up wind. Ones. Yeah, these I'm surprised with the thing on it that it's still picking up. Do you need a dead cat instead of the foam? I like maybe, a, maybe. And dead furries. cat is a new word for me. I know. <laughs> I I'm never like, knew. Uh, dead I cat. Just, <laughs> I just thought what they call something else. <laughs> you no, know, no, they are called dead cats, and it it looks yeah. like you know it's a it's little, like the fuzziness. Yeah. Um, like somebody killed a cat and put part of it yeah. over your microphone. Wow. Oh, good. There's a fight yeah. going on. Larks put some popcorn up. I think you're fighting with with uh, Homestead, so put some popcorn yeah. up. He called us the four horsewomen of trouble. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. The four. But just your cell phone, and I don't really talk at all. Okay, that's that. Then then that's the thing. So I would like to use my microphones because I am finding just and like this is an iphone 14 and it's fairly new and just the other day i'm inside mm -hmm. and recording and there was a clip and then it has sound my, yeah it has sound anomalies mine does mine's the 14 yeah. also when i'm outside it ha does weird stuff that it didn't do with the previous Ooh, one i had no. the seven Exactly. So, um, so that was oh, one of those things, but with my, my little, my little, um, 
I don't even know. Like, it's not even like a real brand. It's just called Lyriol, you know? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So okay. they're just cheap. But what I had one time was that the mic um, stopped recording. Uh, like, so it wasn't picking me up. So then that means you have nothing, no yes. audio whatsoever. That. And that would, that would be enough for me to like be the Tasmanian devil in my house and smash. <laughs> Smash I had that happen using my nicer Canon M50. I didn't set up the microphone right. I thought I did. I went and I shot a whole video and there was no audio. I don't use a mic at all when I'm outside. And do you mm. use a phone, Cece? Um, yes. I use okay. the phone. Um, I use my GoPro and mm -hmm. I use a camera. Okay. So it all just depends. Which one do you pull your audio from usually though for your videos? Um, I do it through editing software, so I upload it to my laptop and do it through my editing software. No, I meant the. Are you pulling it off your phone or are you pulling it off? Does the GoPro has audio too? Uh huh. All so of which, them have audio. So you just pull from all of them and then decide the clips you want to use. Um, I edit my video through my editing software, so I upload whatever I videoed. And mm -hmm. then I put it into my editing software and work on it there. Okay. Yeah. So it could be a combination mm -hmm. of all then. Or... Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, earphones help with the wind or I just edit in music. Usually I'm talking when I've had, and it's only been once where it was like really, really loud. Um, but I was also going to say wild edibles because uh, it was like, um, I was trying to find, you know, I, I know like within iPhone, all back the music. Go get mine and see what mine is. He's saying the road sure. ME. I forget what I have on my M50. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to bring that, that, that uh, chat up. Cause I do want to look. Um, so and I lost my little train of thought. Oh, when, um, so I was just using the iMovie um, because most of those songs in iMovie, they're all allowed to be used. Um, there's no copyright. There can be some sometimes, but I have been just going in to the audio library um, on YouTube. It was Brampton Farmer. She goes, uh, or Bra Brampton Gardner. She said, use the uh, the music from the audio library in in YouTube. And it was like, well, that's just like a no brainer. And there's quite a bit in mm -hmm. there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I've been like, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So um yes. <laughs> so have you noticed what your audience really like like as video wise? Um I'm going to ask I'm going to ask a dumb question. Um how would I know that you got the most view views on it? Okay. But are those Full on views or are those just clicks? Like click someone's clicked on, looked and laughed. I mean, right? either way, it's still a view. Yeah. So I don't get huge. I I, I usually um, I'll have a, a couple times with my um, shorts. You know, I'll get into the thirteen hundred or or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I would say the ones that are, if I'm looking right now, um, the the carnival squash. You know. That got 359 views. So that one is is uh, pretty decent. And that was uh, October 9th. October, mm -hmm. um, that's the last long form video, I think, that I, or no, 113 uh, for picking the tomatoes with the weigh-in. Um, you know, it's got 113 views, 32 comments, uh, 28 likes. So I can't say, you know, uh, this one that I just said that had the the squash one, the carnival squash. This mm -hmm. one is 359 views, 43 comments, 36 likes. So, um, so they liked the carnival squash one more than the picking of um, the tomatoes. So, how often you do long form, as you said? I do. I do at least one a week. Sometimes there could be a second one in there if there was a lot more exciting things. But I try to do one long form, two, two uh, sh 
shorts, at least can two you, shorts. Can you do more than one uh, one long form a week? It, again, it just depends on what's going on in um, in you know within my house, like what I'm doing. Like so, it's like okay, we're picking the tomatoes, then bang, the carnival squash, bang, and then okay, now I'm going to start making some sourdough bread. So, I mean, because um, you know, YouTube is just like. Um, you have to take it like a job, you know, yeah. if yeah. you want to get paid at it, you got to be more consistent in, you know, videos. Yeah. yeah. So that's where, um, uh, I'm, I try to upload on Mondays. So it's like, that's the Monday. Wednesday is a short, um, Friday would be another short. And if I had a second long form, then it would come out Saturday, like today. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is my, my routine. So has it worked for you? Um, I don't, I don't know. That's, the, <laughs> that's my, that's well, what I mean, what? maybe switch it up to see if it, it changes. You know what I'm saying? Like say, Ooh. you know, maybe plan in advance and say, okay, I'm going to post a video like every other day regardless of short or long okay. and see if you see a difference in your um, audience attention, because one of the things about YouTube is paying attention to how often you are promoting yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you're not promoting yourself enough and they're mm -hmm. saying, okay, she's not really taking this serious because most content creators, especially when they first start, they're posting videos, posting, posting, because it's letting YouTube say, okay, this person is serious about, they want their mm -hmm. channel out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I would, I would probably say that I, I am pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. um, I would say you are pretty consistent. Yeah. I, Especially I, I like, like, yeah, this year with Shed Wars, you've really, I think, been very consistent with your stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, So is it more in I, the homesteading? Community is where it's picking it up the most instead of gardening. Um, I, I again, I'm not quite sure because it's like once I post a video, I come and I bring it up and I put it up on Facebook, and then I bring it over. Um, and there's three spots on on Facebook that I posted into uh, that are um, the Canadian homesteader or youtubers and and then our shed wars group and then depending on what video i like at the on the friday i will post it onto that youtube group and then i do throw it up to twitter um i used to throw them up to uh, i would um, make some sort of clip uh, or not clip but uh try to do something to promote it on um, through instagram and through tiktok and TikTok, mm -hmm. I'm still fairly new to, and that so. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm messing with this, trying to figure out. I thought it was a road mic, but I think it's a mo movo movo mic. Okay, so if I'm over a hundred, it's good news for a small channel. It's good. I don't do many shorts, says GT. I don't like them much. <laughs> Hey, Big B. Thanks for coming in. Then ads uh, come in on videos over 75 views. I think. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not like, you know, I know that there is the, like, I'm in for the long, long game. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not, it's, and I'm not going, why am I not? You know, I'm not doing that. I'm like, okay. Here I'm at. What can I now that the fall is here? What can I do better? So, um, Cece, one of the a couple of things is that yes, I do gardening. Um, uh, I do kind of homesteading, but I'm an urban homesteader, mm -hmm. so it's you know small scale things of, of that I'm building um, or repairing. And again, I'm a I'm a jazz and blues singer, so stuff you know for me to attempt is brands making new. Mm -hmm. um, Everything, everything to do with this growing and learning how to make sourdough and um, all of those things. Those are all new, new, new canning, all the pressure canning and stuff like that. Learning to make our own deli meat. 
Mm-hmm. So it's it's kind of I I am in the circle of everything to do with homesteading, um, okay. uh, and and I could say that you know because it's like okay this video it got lots of like one of my um, biggest ones uh, you know that's still that's still going on right now is the um, the easiest way to make pickles with using open kettle method, and so I take you through that process and that one. Um, it's from last year and it's, it's, you know, it's hit over a thousand mm-hmm. views compared to everything else. Like, so it's like, wow, that's, that's pretty darn great as wow. far as I'm concerned. So, um, yeah. And, and yeah. So like if, yeah, I guess I should have had a, a bit more of a specific thing in regards to the analytics, like what is the best part to look at? Like, I don't, I'm not concerned about, you know, um, in the last 28 days, I got 67 subscribers and the watch time hours. I am, I, I do look at the watch time hours because that's what I'm trying to build up mm-hmm. um, right now at this point. That's a kind of the, the biggest thing. Um, but in regards to specific views, um, yeah. So my top content, this period, one of them had 600 and, five views on it it came out september 25th so that's um you know that was uh that was a long form video but the average duration says only two minutes and 10 seconds Mm. so let me just catch up here with some oh going out the box i told you you know brother you need to just come up here pay attention to duration (laughs) attention those metrics youtube will move your content to browse and that's where you get seen uh yes and that was another thing i think i was learning this week was i don't do the search thing where it's like let's go and search what are people searching for and it's like make a great thumbnail keep the um and give give people what they want and i'm trying to figure out i don't know what my audience wants and or how to make that work. Like, I, I don't know, like in the, in the kind of this growing homestead, um, you know. So what hard makes to you happy? What makes me happy? <laughs> Margaritas in Mexico and laying on a beach. That's what makes me happy. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'm sure, sure. I'm sure it have people that would put <laughs> They would sure watch that. <laughs> Plenty Everybody. of them out there would watch that. Here, here's me, <laughs> laying on the beach, beach drinking margaritas. <laughs> That's right. I'm having, I'm having four margaritas. I'm having seven, <laughs> seven <Yeah>. margaritas. <laughs> from, what, from what I've seen behind my live panel lately, <laughs> there's definitely male attention out there, and probably female that would watch us on the beach drinking margaritas, Marie. Yeah. The I, reason I, why I say that is because. Um, in the long, like you said, you're in there for the long haul. And so if you're doing things to just please the audience, then you're going to get burned out really quick. Yeah. You know, and it's going to feel more, uh, you know, YouTube is kind of like a job, but it doesn't have to feel like it, you know? Oh, right. And right. if you're there just to keep, you know, because people attention span jumps all over the place. And so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't well, what what I'm sorry did you say that? <laughs> that's right right <laughs> exactly that's what happens <laughs> that's what we were actually talking about on my channel last night with Marie it was like um because it what? you're seeing it all over right now and then it mm-hmm. will go away which mm-hmm. is uh people finding out late in life that they're on the autism spectrum or that they have ADHD mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah it's a real thing it's a real thing. And I got, I got some ADHD. I know that. But yeah, you have, I think Diva puts quite a bit of like your, I don't know. I, you're an entertainer as far as, you know, musician and like, like a professional musician and singer, but you're also an entertainer and you mm-hmm. are very entertaining yes. in your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It comes through. It definitely yeah. helps. And, and, but you know, that it's, and that's, that is my personality. Like, um, yeah. um, I will 
you know, I, like I, at the beginning of this video, I was telling myself, you know, you do not need to get pump, a pineapple plant. You do not, you know, I would, <laughs> I don't like, that is how I am. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't tend to look for what are people, what, what do they want me to do? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I, you know what? Uh, well, I'm not that new to it, you know, because mm -hmm. it's like I am in three years deep into this, to mm -hmm. this homesteading thing. Um, but I still like, you know, we're always learning. And I just, I don't mind going here, let me show you and the reasons why I'm doing this. And mm -hmm. it's like, I'm kind of a, it's more that the vlog style. It's just like, come and spend, you know, a few minutes of my day with me. And, uh, and I don't mind that. I like, I like um, sharing. I like to add a little bit of humor, a little bit of encouragement to go. Cause I just, I would, I would love to see more people grow their own food. You know, I, I hate driving by like even across the street, there is this massive um, kind of seniors um, or it's not seniors, but it's adult um, uh, condos. And they've got oh, beautiful, yeah. picturesque lawns that are being mowed and, you know, and and taken care of. And it's like, there is space there that you could grow food for yourself, oh, yeah. for your family. And, and, and when you have people that are like me that go, I don't garden. Do you see, you know, I used to have fancy <laughs> deep nails. You know, I don't do that stuff um, because it just, ugh, I like to eat it, but I don't want to work on it. I want to, I want to find those people to go, yes, you can. Or you go, I can't grow a damn thing. I want to go, yes, let's just grow four, just four romaine lettuces. That's all we're going to grow. And you're going to have fresh romaine all summer long. You know, so have you thought about doing that? Like say, Hey, I'm going to start this beginner course. So, you know, stay tuned to the next week. We're going to do that. You know, like having mm -hmm. more like a lesson. Because there right. is a lot of new, you know, beginner yeah. gardeners always start up. Yeah, I could. I Well, I kind of went through a series of why I choose to do the style of um, no dig gardening and that. Um, hang on a second. Listen here, Bo. It's mama to you. Don't you call me Maureen. This is not, I'm not on stage. You call me mama. <laughs> when I, when I perform. <laughs> My kids would come to my gigs and, and they would start fighting and, and then you go, meow, meow, meow. you know, I'm, I'm not in the middle of the gig. This is pre gig or, or in, mm -hmm. and I go, and I would say to them, listen, when we're at the gig, my name's not Maureen. My name's, <laughs> I, I mean, my name is not mama, mom, 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 ask your dad. Uh, it's, it's Maureen. And so then they, you know, and they call me Maureen when they're mad. Like when I'm really, you know, if I'm really ticking them off, like Maureen, you know, it's like, <laughs> But right now, I'm mama to you, Mr. Bo. Um, GT was looking for the link. He said it earlier. I oh, think it slid geez. by you. Probably. I get, you know, I get rambling on. It's, it's hard. It's hard rambling to do both. On. Oops. Did I oh, like I that. did copy it. Beety, beety, boo. Thanks for grabbing that. Yeah, oh, probably. All right. Let me try to catch some of these. I better see Mama next. I hope you're still on, Bo. Ah, see, Home said Aquarius said Ted hi. <laughs> and then let me just see what here. We'd all love some tips from someone up there like you, grown out of the box. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he won't come up on my live. Mm -hmm. Have I seen? No, I haven't seen him yet. Um, I like how you let people share their link and also that. Uh, how you go to live streams and spread positivity. Oh, thanks, Big B. Oh, yeah, I, I um, I'm hoping it's going to be a safe thing to have the night box. Hey, little brother. What's up? Hey, hey yeah. What's up, GT? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> well, I was like, yeah, he is my little brother because I was hearing today, um, Micro Farmer. You know, he's like he's 56, and you know, and you're young, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's 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 me too. So, so you're just yeah. A little... I, I, I'm 45 years old now. I ain't that little now? Yeah, you're still young. You're still young. Wow, <laughs> I, I appreciate it, but wow. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like when y'all say that y'all are searching all of these things, I've never took YouTube as serious as y'all. 
Like I make content, but I can't, I can't, they say do shorts that gives you certain, you know, algorithm where people will, you, you know, you'll get the attention of people and then I, I can't do it. It's like my personality, I like to do long form content. I don't get as many views as y'all, but my retention is pretty good. It's 50 to 75% of people that view it, they stay, you know, a little bit longer, mm -hmm. but I can't, I can't do that. Just like think, I'm, you could be mm -hmm. having 85 to 90% doing shorts. I can't stand shorts. <laughs> I didn't like I can't. it at first either. I was like, I'm not doing this shorts. This is like Instagram or Snapchat kind of stuff. You know, and, uh, I'm not TikTok though. I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, I do a video. I, I probably have like four shorts on my channel. I can't do them. It's like, <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it just seems like, you know, it's like a, I don't know. It's like, <laughs> hey, YouTube here I go, and then bye. Right now, so huh? That's what YouTube is pushing out right now. Yeah, there. Because yeah, that's live and short thing. Yeah. And so you know. They're competing. With, they're competing with, with the big TikTok. brothers. Won't mm -hmm. out there if he's mm -hmm. gonna push it out there. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Uh, like, like you said, you said also don't do things that's just for the people. Mm -hmm. Like I, I would like to stay true to me, and every once in a while, I do a short just because I can't. I can't figure out. Okay, what else can I add to it? You know, but mm -hmm. y'all make it a job. Y'all like. Growing up the box, he's talking about, oh, I buy this um app to, you know, do the the thumbnail or whatever. I go to my video <laughs> and I just find a good my mouth isn't open. And I <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Especially when I go and I look at his videos and I see how how it, it catches your attention. And you're like, oh wow, that was amazing. And then it's over. But I can't do stuff like that. That ain't and Gina versus Gina. Y'all really be working at it. Like mm -hmm. for real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, okay, to be like to be frank with you, it's like, um, so what I what I did for a living is I'm a jazz and blues singer, right? And I taught voice and and that's what my greenhouse studio, it was a studio. So that's where I taught. And then I did I gigged around. Um, traveled and toured and stuff like that. Like, I'm not like, you know, your big famous, famous people. I'm, you know, soft seats, 300, 300 seat place mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, and then 2020 shut all that down. Nope, you can't do, nope, mm -hmm. you are so non-essential. And that's where I started going out and growing. And mm -hmm. then, um, and I've enjoyed it so much. And then doing the YouTube videos, this is great. But um, so what I am doing is I'm, as a, as an independent musician, um, like there is no, um, there's no retirement fund. I make my own retirement fund. Mm -hmm. I've been putting it, putting it aside. So that's what I'm living off of right now. And, um, and it's like, I still have some, but it's just like, I don't want it to dwindle away where I have none. And then it's like, yeah. oh, shoot, um, uh, something's got to sell. Like, Oh, let's sell the house. Like, um, so that's where I'm, I'm looking at this as it is my job. It is my business. Um, you know, I am, I, I had set out where I had a calendar and it's like, here's where video that you're going to record. Um, and this is when, you know, this is what we're recording kind of thing, just to kind of give me some ideas. And I started that out in the new year. Um, uh, didn't, didn't stay consistent with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I don't even so know. So, do you write your own songs too? I do write music, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're uh, real, real. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's <for> real, real. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I heard, I've been hearing yeah. you sing every once in a while, but now I know, you know, that you're a singer, singer. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I can't believe I don't have one here. I've got, I've recorded nine albums. You, you, no. can, find, you can find her on here as herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, yeah. see, mm -hmm. see, there's a lot of people out here that's man. I love I the internet sometimes. I love yeah. the internet because of you. man. That's so cool. Yeah. Right. No. No. That's that's um. Yeah. And actually, my my last album. Um. I'm just gonna look it up here. 
uh, my last album, I, I had just released it seven years. Um, Washington, what's my name? Um, I released it seven. It, I received the CDs seven years ago today was mm. my, well, with my last mm. album here. So mm. I'm just going to go. Boo, 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 boo. You guys all have to oh, it's uh, nice. share it's a screen. Mm -mm -mm. Share a screen. Now I got to pick something here. There we go. And I'm going to share that. I think. Oh, nope. There it is. Now, how do I do? Oh, there we go. So, yeah, this is Maureen Washington Music. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can. Am I able to play anything on here? Oh, maybe I can. I don't know if you'll hear it. I'll just play. Wow. Um, I don't know if it'll show up for you guys. Oh. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I can. Yeah, no, I can hear it. no, 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 has poison my heart just let it go to the chorus so now it's time that we must complete <laughs> somewhere there's a love supreme but it ain't you no so give it up quit knocking at my door i don't care what you're selling i don't live there anymore just give it up that's Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> okay. You can hear it. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's that is an original song that uh, the guitarist and I we wrote together. Yeah. Okay. Um, Proud moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, not not doing a shameless plug like I do have like so that is my other channel and I I was pushing mm -hmm. that channel back in 2020, um, you know and like because it's like I don't I don't have music and videos on like the big production but my album Harvest Moon was the last album that I recorded, it is on there and it does have an original tune that, um, again my friend Daniel Cook and I we wrote, um, That's together awesome. after my husband husband had passed and it's called Wait a Little Longer. And um, oh. and I was when I was looking at those seed th this this box of CDs today and posting it on Facebook, it was like, oh yeah, I remember recording the first song Harvest Moon because he and I would dance to that, and the mm. wait a little longer. And when I recorded it, it was the hardest songs I've ever recorded. And my engineer was mm. like, he was not letting me, uh, he was not letting me off because I was I was weeping like I was sobbing. It would be like. I'd sing, you know, wait a little longer. And then I'd go, ah, let's oh. not sleep just yet. Oh, like it was just oh. brutal. But he wanted, he wanted that emotion in there. Yeah. And, yeah. And you can hear it, you can hear it a little bit because I, I would pull it in and control it. But the the emotion was just so um, yeah, it was just it was like well, how just, long after your husband had oh. passed that you did this song? Uh a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My my husband died September thirteenth, and um of twenty fifteen, and wow. his birthday was September seventeenth. And I actually had a weekend of gigs that already booked lounge oh. gig, and so I was at the Empress Hotel, which is like it's big fancy. Uh, wow. I'm just in the, it's called the Bengal Lounge, and I asked all my kids to come, and so they came and had dinner, um mm -hmm. and uh, for me to perform on it on his birthday oh, oh wow but you know <laughs> and in that moment um one of the reasons why is because again you know i just lost my husband just lost a right yeah a source of income right and and it's like you can't you no. can't turn these gigs down maureen this is you're on your own you you've got a mortgage to pay you got stuff to do and so it was like bang 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 get up um and start performing but my my musicians my three musicians like they are, they are the biggest hug, like not just in, in their music, musicality mm -hmm. that weekend. It was like, 
we're picking you up. We're bringing all the gear. You're not bringing your own gear. You know, shut up, get in the car. We're going to take you in, let you sing, and then we're going to put you back in the car and take you home. And uh, the three of them just took really great care of me. Yeah. What a blessing. Anyway. <laughs> so Goodness. let me get back to the chat. <laughs> Enough about Thank my you music. For sharing it. Thank you. Yeah, for that was yes. beautiful. So Gosh, now I was thinking, you, go ahead. Now you know. I, I this that's what I used to do for a living. I would teach voice, and I still like I'm doing master classes at the uh, at the college here in the next. Like I'll do a master class each uh, the next two months, and so I do have little stints like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I do have some gigs, but I'm. I'm just not willing to go and do lounge gigs because they don't pay a whole lot. So mm -hmm. I've got lots coming up at Christmas through the Christmas season here. So um, YouTube so is like a stream of income, just like you still have some stream of income from being an entertainer. You've got that. Yeah. Then YouTube would be a good stream of income. And you're it just kind of. I just want to go. Let me grab stack. a little bit of something to. Yeah. Help out, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. anyway, it totally makes sense. I was I, when you shared that, I was like, Goodness, I could not even get through Christmas songs at the Christmas party at the old folks' home the next day after my grandmother died. I cannot mm -hmm. imagine on your husband's birthday mm -hmm. having to mm -hmm. perform in front of a crowd. Mm -hmm. Well, it's yeah. a lounge, so people are eating dinner, right? Oh, so, so they're, they're not getting giving you like total direct eye contact. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a it's a lounge. You know, it's kind of a shishi poo poo lounge where it's like, yeah, I was at the Benga Lounge having dinner, you know, <laughs> and uh, um, and so it's it's kind of like that. Uh, the other place on the weekend, though, they were again a restaurant, but they are, but it's a listening restaurant. Um, and so a couple of people said they came up that knew me and they went, uh, I can't believe you're here and I can't believe you sang Harvest Moon and you didn't fall apart. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, it was close. But anyway, back to figuring out yeah. how to, you know, keep my ways going forward. Yeah. Uh, oh, so growing. Yeah. Mom said, he says, uh, you should be huge on YouTube if you applied these things to your channel, but be careful of those micro details. Okay. So you, you just. <laughs> Yeah, I that that'll free things. You just froze them in, in place. We were just talking about this last night, ADHD. Like, yeah. oh, be careful of this. Oh, what about those things that Homestead said? There's a level to the game. Freeze. So well, the, the thing about me, I am on YouTube to be to bring happiness and spread a little joy and to fellowship with people to have like minds. That's all. I can't yeah. I, I, I enjoy it because going back and reading the comments and learning information about people and learning, you know, different things, but I can't, I can't invest all my time in it because yeah. my, my family needs me and That's right. you know, you I'm trying to build a legacy. And when you get to like a hundred thousand people, there's a mean people out there. I don't deal with negativity. <laughs> like I'm a, no. in my everyday life, I'm a happy person. Like, yeah. In the job that I have, I have to bring the best of me. So I don't want to be on there and, you know, I'm getting all of these negative comments and stuff. I don't want it. So yeah. I stay where I'm at. And then I grow somewhere else doing something else. And I just stay here and just have my just, you know, my select people that I, you know, mingle with or whatever. Mm -hmm. But with the micro details, I, you know, Everybody's cup of tea ain't for everybody. You know, mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. certain things about certain people. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I might say something that roll, rubs somebody the wrong way and it's just because of my dialect or because of the way I talk. Because I do mm -hmm. have a little slight draw of, you know, an accent or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you, you know, you know, I just try to be good and, you know, I like good people that bring mm -hmm. Good energy at that moment in time. So yeah. you know, yeah. that's just who I am, man. That's all. I feel that. I'm I, I but I like you, Aquarius. I like you. I <laughs> His detail, voice but... and everything. He's a cool man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's big Southern drawl that he's got. But mm -hmm. you know, but the thing is, is that like you do have two jobs and a family, and so if your YouTube channel just has a nice, you know, slow growth. You know, and like you said, I'm working on a legacy, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like, that's exactly, yeah. you know, you're doing what you need to do. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to avoid having to get a, an actual J-O-B because I don't want to get a J-O-B. Yeah. 
I'd like to not have to get a job, but I'm open to, you know, getting a job if I need to get a job. But in the in, in term, it's been nice to be in this kind of semi-retired. But I think, um, you know, listening to you like CC today, it's like, yeah, the this consistency and, and again, growing out of the box, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like YouTube seem to know what you're talking about and I love hearing this and it's like it's an encouragement to me to going okay you know I'm doing I am doing the right things but it's like what could I do just a little bit more that I could you know kind of handle you know and and just kind of move myself that little bit so yeah. I just wanted to see what this one the, the the numbers quantity with more videos you do because every video that gets a view represents money. YouTube is a business and I treat it that way. So I'm very intentional with my content. Intentional. That was being talked on, on your live today, GT it was intentional. Yeah. Oh, I liked yeah. that, you know, yes. so. I didn't know. Sorry. Yeah. GT, I didn't get a notification for some reason. Oh, it's all good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just there to talk and laugh and smile. <laughs> <laughs> I that's what I this is I love if it. I can be myself, that's like my business that I mm -hmm. got the LLC for the job that I'm actually gonna, you know, be the entrepreneur of is something yeah. that I actually enjoy. I'm yeah. over 30 after I turned 30 years old and I was in what computer class, mm -hmm. I told my dad, I said, I can't chase money, dad, no more. I gotta ch chase my passion and happiness. That's all because mm -hmm. we only here for a short time, so. I just want to love and live, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, alive. I agree. I agree. Uh, and actually it was good. Um, Cause I, I was a little bit late coming in and then, you know, and then I, I did the same thing as you did where I was walking around with just um, wireless earphones and I'm cutting up tomatoes. And then I, you know, the only thing is that you don't always read your read what the comment is up front. And so you'll just be laughing. At, <laughs> and it's like, so I'll come over to my phone and go, okay, what's he laughing about? And then back to the tomatoes and, <laughs> Um, but one thing that was good. Oh, so you got butterfly pee. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, I got butterfly pee. What are you doing? You I was like butterfly you, pee in Alaska. What are you laughing for now? Um, and so, but what was good was you know, and like I said on on my thing, because it's like you know, it was nice, micro farmer, to say, "Dive in the dirt." I'm going to remember her name because there's um, hands in the dirt, and we all know, you know, hands in dirt's been around a long time, so "Dive in the dirt's a little easier to remember. You know, but then my name on the end of it, because like I said, it was that um, people who know me um, that follow me already as a musician, they know Maureen Washington. So yeah. if they go and type Maureen Washington, they're not going to find even the dirt. Eventually, I'll take off Maureen Washington. That name will come off of it. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I'll just be deep in the dirt because people will be able to find me. Right. But what was good was. Because I do have the copyright to the words diva in the dirt. Like, so with my t-shirts and stuff like that. So I have the copyright to this. So awesome. yeah. And then, but then it was like, well, my website is it like my Canadian website. And my mayor, I have a mayor, I have maureenwashington.ca and I own maureenwashington.com. But it was like, I think I was starting with more with diva in the dirt.com. And I went and looked it up and it was like, Oh good. I do own the dot domain name. Mama owns it. Mama owns diva in the dirt. Mama owns Maureen Washington. Com and cut. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good. So my whole Good. big story, just to tell you that, mm -hmm, it was like, mm -hmm. yippee! It made it made me go and look. So yeah, I did. I um, yeah, hey, I CR. saw that. Hey, Cr, thanks for coming in. Hey, the redundancy. Missed you well, last night, Cr. Well, I'm going to be heading out because it's way past my bedtime. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, thanks for coming up, CC, yeah. and thank all you for right. all that advice. That it was, it, yeah. it's um. It's it's good to talk to real people doing the real work the real way, not right. this, you know, where you're I do appreciate, you know, um, the vid IQs and the think think media. I mm -hmm. do appreciate them. But, you know, they 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 do have something else to sell. And, they, right. you know, and their videos are slick. And, you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, but does that is that really important to do it that way? Is it really, you know, and right. so it's great to talk to a real person who is has made their way and mm -hmm. um, asking them uh, and asking their advice and, you know, and the, the same, you know, the same thing with growing out of the box. Like, it's like, this is what I needed. I needed to speak to real people. So thanks for coming up. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.
night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Mm. Cool. I love I love this one. It shows hand pink waving, but I was thinking <laughs> hand pink, it's like hand pinky <gasps> waving. That's crazy. What okay. what grown out of the box wrote? Oh. He blew see. up. He really blew up. He just said it's a couple months ago. He got his thousand subs. I wow. remember you was in my chat. I remember. Wow. Yeah, that I nice. remember that. Yeah, you push. You did the way you push your content is you 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 push a lot of teaching and yeah, that's what they want. I, though. Yeah, I watch it and you you do a great job. I want to yeah. see. I just want to see people smile. So yeah, that's my mm -hmm. that's what I do. You know. But I know yeah, I mine was for legacy. Her. Mine was for legacy for the kids when dad passed and mom passed. And I'm like, I don't have any videos of my parents out in the garden. And I would spend time out there in the garden mm -hmm. with my dad. And I'm like, mm. I have a few pictures here and there, thankfully, over the years of my dad outside and doing his thing. But that man was either in the garage or always out in the yard. He loved the art. He loved to be mm -hmm. outside. He loved. He even loved to sweat. He said it's the best thing for you. It's like peeing through your skin. You detoxify. He knew about detoxifying as an old farmer. And you now know, that's the truth. it is. It, and I didn't know it as a truth back then. He he did. He was like, it's so good for you to do that. Live to like ninety two. So yeah, kind of worked for dad. For we sure. gotta look. Sorry, we gotta no, look go comfortable. We gotta look comfortable with the air conditioner. We yeah. need to be out there in the. I can't wait. I'm telling you, five to ten years. I'm. I'm. I'm retiring. I'm. I already got this plan made up. I'm gone. I'm. I'm moving to a zone seven somewhere, and I'm growing food. That's. That's what I want to do. I just want to grow food, and yeah, you know, that's all. I don't want to mm -hmm. do nothing else. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. done. Mm -hmm. I want to grow yeah. food. Yeah. It's cold here. Yeah, 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 but but you know there is people that grow all sorts of things in greenhouses up there in Alaska. Like yes. there, there is the banana people growing their bananas and crazy yeah. things, or and even That's the stuff out in the stuff. snow. I my mom she goes, I was watching some show about people in Alaska, and they go, oh yeah, we're gonna go out and get some Brussels sprouts. So they would trudge out into the snow, kick off, you know, use their boot, kick the the, the Brussels sprouts, grab the whole thing, and bring it in. You got your breast, frozen Brussels sprouts right there in your own backyard. Yeah. I do that with cabbage. I can't yeah. stand Brussels sprouts. It tastes like pennies, but I, I understand what you're saying. It tastes like pennies. Yeah, well, my <laughs> kids, they, they make Brussels sprouts with bacon, so I eat them mostly for the bacon. You can do both, GT. It's Alaska, I approach my content from a spiritual tone, but I but I am a gardener. You know what? I just, you know what? Why can't you just come up, sir? Why can't you just come up here? He's probably chilling. He's like, you know, you Don't just come up on. and have a conversation. Like, how hard is that is to just come up? I just went over to a channel and he even put up something for breast cancer, like breast cancer or cancer awareness. And I like that outfit. The pink with the white and white. That yeah, that, that, that catches cool. that catches attention. Like that's the thing too, is like I if I am myself out in the garden, then people think I'm fake. And I'm like, no, if I'm in front of a camera. I'm usually not taking pictures except for my very tight knit, like smaller group. Will they see me usually without makeup? Now, right now I've got some lip gloss on and I've got, I've done my lighting. So I don't have to worry about it. But if I'm out in the Florida lights, I, I'm girly girl. I want lipstick. I want color. Mm. And it's so hard. Like GT said, you, there's mean people on YouTube. There's just mean people on YouTube. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's mm -hmm. about uh, what I'm saying is people are also attracted to looks like we are in a visual and a visual thing mm -hmm. here. And I've seen some people who like their their teaching isn't anything new, but they hot and they got, <laughs> and they got the views. And I'm talking guy, girl, not you oh, know, I know. it goes either way. Yeah. Mm -mm. So like I, I see that, you know, growing out of the box is also approaching it from visual too. Cause when you look at his visuals, it, it is like that crisp white with that pink, the outfits that kind of like match that he does got, you know, his cap going with the, you know, the black shirt or the black pants with the white, like, come on, you ain't, 
you ain't doing a lot of dirty work in a white shirt. <laughs> Come on. Come on, yeah, you come up Got and you tell yeah, you look a little too fresh. But you know what? That's HGTV. <laughs> That's smart. HGTV. Yeah. You see yeah. their main characters; they look good, mm. and you're still believing that they were in all that dirt and doing that work. Like mm -hmm. when they pause them, and they're like, you know what I mean? Like they're doing tile work, and they're totally mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. it's like, presentation. Yes, yeah. presentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it is a show. Yeah, it's a show. Um, so I do want to ask, I should have, uh, Cece's gone, um, or, and, but I can ask anybody here because it's like, um, you know, learning how to do thumbnails. Like if I look it back, you know, it's like, yeah, that's not a thumbnail. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. But some, and some of that content also is like, yeah, you, you know, yeah, I was just like putting it up too. for extra, but they, but they have said they've recommended, um, going back to some and, um, change the thumbnail and repost it like not repost it just change the thumbnail on on the video and huh. and i don't know if that if that refreshed thumbnail gives it a little bit of a push but if even if it didn't then i could easily just take that thumbnail and go and put it on my community tab if i if i can come up with a better thumbnail now that i'm understanding how to do thumbnails that's that was my um you know my thoughts so yeah it is yeah. develop yourself yourself like so you know my m in my videos like you know I, I always at some point go so what are you doing today Maureen yes you definitely um, have that you know yeah. and it's like it, and some you know I know you know a couple of people like why do you do like the jump cuts where you, you know you come up real real close to the camera because and I go well those are my thoughts because even as I'm talking you know you're like mm -hmm. you know you're just la 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 but you really know you know, you're just like an idiot anyway. You know, it's it's that sort of thing. Um, because yeah. it's, it's like you know, when I go, conversation. Yeah. yeah. So like it's like the last one was with about the squashes. Like, you know, so all you know, with all the squ squashes that I've grown, it sounds like I've been growing squash for ever and ever on man. And I go, but it's like, but it's like it's only been three years that you've been growing squash, so it's not like it's a lot. You know, I I, I put in the second conversation, and that's kind of a bit of my shtick. Yeah. Um, and then the other, the other little thing, um, you know, I just always love to end my, my videos. That's so I just like, you know, anyway, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I sincerely mean that. And there is some times where I get emotional when I say it, yeah. um, because especially when there is difficulties going on out there, then it's like, uh -huh. I'm really wishing that whoever's watching that they're having a good day, wherever they are, a great day, wherever they are, you know, and to take care and God bless, you know, and, um, because it's like, I do want to wish well with people and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I like when you go different angles and do all of Me that too. stuff. I think it's pretty cool. You know, yeah, you do like, I like and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, I like that. Like those yeah. little different camera, ang camera angles and, you know, mm -hmm. something as simple as when you were sweeping the, the fertilizer, it was like, it was simple, but it it just gave you a different perspective of things, and I mm -hmm. like it, you know. Yeah. So yeah. you, you couldn't you couldn't hear me. Going. Thank you. You couldn't hear me swearing. You freaking fracking little stinking mouse! Like I don't even know how you got in my place. No, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I didn't let that. No, actually, I wasn't doing that. But, but yeah, sometimes a thumbnail is easier than the video. Um, Cr, I don't. Uh, well, now that I know that I can only have five, I should have. I should have like four words that I'm finding a little bit um, challenging, but I'm, I'm kind of mm -hmm. excited about it because it was like with the, with this first one where I was like intentionally going, not going to have very many words. Uh, title is what I look for. I personally focus on the verbiage. Cool. Hey, cute. I'm eating homemade five bean taco chili with the lamb brisket. Shut the front door. Well, just share it around with the group. Come on. Yeah. So yeah, it's a different point of view. But mm -hmm. and yeah, so I I have my style of how I'm how I do my videos and I'm okay with that. And it'll evolve and change because you know, I wasn't doing all of those things at the beginning. And um sometime I, you know, there's somewhere it's like here, you can watch, you know, basically three minutes of me on um time lapse, you know, picking doing something. And it's like, yeah, Maureen, they don't need 
you know, three minutes of that. So anyway, the presentation brings in advertisers. I'll say it again, be intentional. Be intentional because you are your brand. That's how you make money on YouTube. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right. No kidding. I'm going to just that. go blow up my channel now. I'm just going <laughs> to eulogize. Blow it up. Eulogize it. It's yeah. not over. Mama's got Diva in the Dirt t-shirts. It's like, look, she's got merch. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. sure that that Nightbot has uh, shared that um, uh, quite a few times. I might go and just uh, shut it down. So. It's like, you guys have all seen it. It's not like, uh, um, there, we can just disable it. Then it won't be coming up. I don't have to be, well, I think. I but you that. got the visual. I definitely, I think, saw that right away. It was mm. funny. It was because I was like, I wear colored. Well, who is this woman? She's got it better than me. I wear the colored glasses. What? What's my shtick going to be now? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, and Holmes. The red and yeah. And the red lipstick. But yeah. yeah, no, you I think you've got the visuals. And mm -hmm. I think Yeah, no, that's fine. It's yeah. it's I'm trying to go, how do I understand that the back end better? Mm -hmm. Um and and you know, yeah, um, like uh to be more intentional. And that's where I said was yes. I'm looking at okay, well, let's record something about this microphone. No, you know, like I'm I'm you know being facetious, but it's like, okay, I'm gonna do that, but I don't really feel up to it right now uh because I've got X, Y, and Z and I don't have enough time. Um whatever. She does and it's have the it factor larks. Yep, I agree. Oh bless you. Mm -hmm. Um and so I would and so it's where, okay, you know, you don't have to try to record everything because I'm, I feel like I'm getting into a mindset of desperation. Mm. Um, and I think mm -hmm. that's, that's cause it's like, there's been a, you know, some tension for me and it's like, I need to figure out how am I going to run this business? And I was watching, um, I wrote down his name because it was like, Oh, Simon. Cause it's like Simon says, and it was mm. really good. Um, Simon Sink, S-I-N-E-K. Uh -huh. And he was talking about the marketing. It's like, it's the why, how, what. And most of the time, people will start with the what it is, how and why. And so it's like he, as an example, he, on this TED Talk, he said, you know, the poor one, poor example is we make great computers. They're beautifully designed, simple to use and user friendly. Want to buy one. And then, you know, he was using Apple. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Apple doesn't matter what they do. Oh, like, look at this. You need to have it. And so here's how mm -hmm. Apple actually communicates. And they tell you the why first. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to go, what is Maureen's why? So they, with, when Apple's going to sell a computer, they go, everything we do, we believe in, uh, it challenges the status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user-friendly. We just happen to make, we just happen to make great computers. Want to buy one? Mm. You know, and so you start with the why, then you go into the how, and then it's the what. Where we're always going, okay, what do I need to do? Well, I want to sell you this piece of paper. And this is good paper because it's mm. white. Um, and it's just going to make your life better. Yeah. Or like, why do they need to, this information? Yeah. So it's like, I'm why? giving them. This is great. Mm this paper has really helped to change my life, this certain brand. And it's been just really easy to work on. And it, you know, and it's like, so you're starting with why this has made a difference in my life. Mm. And I'm, and it's super simple, super easy. Would you like to buy it? You know, and it's like, I'm, I just listened to it um, today. And so it's like wrapping my head around what is Maureen's why? So, well, yeah, I grow, I grow squash because it keeps well for my family and I'm able to diversify it into multiple dishes. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about those. I think sometimes, though, you do that. You do a why and you're not even realizing it. Mm -hmm. You might not do it all the time, but I think you've kind of done the why. Uh, well, I think I want to know Maureen's my, my own why. So. Grow out of the box. What are you saying? You're right, South Forest Sunshine. Be become your brand. I had my business set up before I made a dollar on here. You make it up as you go. 
but you have to learn to follow the analytics. Okay, growing out the box, I think what you're going to do is do a little private live. We'll all pay a little bit of money and you'll show us how to read the analytics from a normal, regular person. <laughs> yes. Put it in yeah. AD, ADHD speak, please. That's right. So ju yes, jump are, cuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jump cuts I, are good. I am, you know, continue things that are, are working. Yeah, well. absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not about to start throwing out, um, uh, aspects, you know, whether people like it or not. And, you know, there will be haters or there will be like, and even as a musician, they're like, as a yeah. singer, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I yell a lot at my shows. Like it's like, to me, it's yelling and people are like, I love it. But I go, yeah, I go and I yell for two hours and people pay me money to yell. <laughs> right. It's like, this is the best job ever. Um, so, but I know that some people like, you know, they can't stand me. La, 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to click that one on. You can buy me a coffee if you want. Definitely show how to understand the analytics coming, coming mm -hmm. from Lars. Yeah. Also, he was saying about looking up the most searched things on Google because Google and YouTube, YouTube are the same. Yeah. But I don't even know how to how you do that. Like how you do that. You just, you just Google um, how to make... How to make water bottles. Okay. Um, and then it's just the first couple that come. Mm -hmm. uh, you go and get some ideas. I will say that like if you do go and look at um, the vidIQ, and I don't know how much they cost per month. But I, I had I, their sample once, like a yeah, free one. Yeah. And I that one was quite fascinating um, to type in, you know, just typing in carnival squash and then it just gives me a whole bunch of information that I can bounce off of, which, you know, excuse me, uh, even wording things can help. Yeah. What is this one? Someone needs to make a YouTube analytics for dummies. <laughs> I Amen. agree, Larks. Amen. I agree. Uh, I totally agree. Yeah. You, you, you'd make a killing. You'd make a killing. <laughs> So then are you saying you need your your why about you? Like, did I misunderstand it? Or you meant yep, for your videos? I no, I need to know my own personal why. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing YouTube videos? What is my goal? What's my plan? Like, what is my, okay. my why in this business side of it? Okay. And to really define, you know, and it might not be like, you know, here it is, here is what my why is this little bit. It might be my why is this sentence, you know, it, and mm -hmm. this is what, what again, intentionally when I'm like going a to mission make statement. Video, yeah. It's your basically. mission statement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it, when I go to film something is that I'm going to be intentional with that in mind, because even when we have that in, 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 mm. in yeah. um, that yeah. intent, we will, um, guide people in like we will be in the video with that intent you know um oh, so okay. I got that, it better and, now and yeah and so I'm I'm trying to go like in the fall like this fall and winter there isn't a lot to do like I, I've got lots of baking and things that I can do for videos mm -hmm. but this is a time of like okay you know you know re reassess what works okay mm -hmm. that works that works that works what could I do to make it a little bit better um, you know, and, uh, because I don't, it's not like I'm going, okay, I need leaps and bounds. I just go, what's one thing that I can do better. And I would love to, um, look at the analytics in a different way. And I'm starting I, again with the one, um, where he's like, he said with the shorts, you know, like you might have it like a good burst and then it just kind of goes level and it just stays there. Um, mm -hmm. Lars, I'd have to go back and look and make a little note. It's like, I can't remember what he did to make it go back up again. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, it's like, I want to understand that sort of stuff. So yeah, um, add value is from Think Media. I remember them saying that. That's like yeah. one of their catchphrases. Yeah. Push play. And, and like, then when they get into their video stuff, they talk about that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's Bad where value. where the so-called short attention spam people cannot be helped videos that teach how to grow your channel. <laughs> yeah, I think Pretty I've much. watched plenty like on on it, like what Maureen was saying, like think media. But then you're like, okay, does that really work? Or are you just trying to sell me something? Are you trying to sell me a course? 
and yeah. you're just going to repeat what I've heard or that might work for think media, but it won't necessarily work gardening. Mm -hmm. um, I think I like out of the box, I relate to a lot more of what he's saying, but just like mm -hmm. you, I can't read analytics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sean's he's awesome. He is awesome. Mm hmm. I hear a lot about short attention spans, yet they seem to have the attention for something. Seek not to please others, or it shall bite thee on the buttocks. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Um, stuff. Mm -hmm. And Storm says, how can you make it better without repeating or mirroring some other channel style? And yeah, I know yeah. that's why I have no direction. It, I just film on the fly. Uh, I uh, Storms, um, I film on the fly, but usually there is a bit of scripting going on in my head as I'm, you know, thinking, okay, I'm going to film, I'm going to film about, you know, um, picking the lemons. I'm, I'm going to just make it a short, mm -hmm. uh, cause there's like, it's six lemons, like how, you know, I can't make it, you know, a 10 minute video about <clears throat> here is the, the lowly lemon plant. And there are six beautiful lemons, in her, <laughs> you know, and it's like, make it a short, just get in, get out, make it, you know, mm -hmm. um, and so I do fly by the seat of my pants and I think I'm, and I was resistant to making a script, but I think I'm, I think I'm now at the place where it's like, you know, I think if you make yourself yeah. a little script of ideas, it's going to make it better. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. CR, you can. I join haven't, me. I haven't tapped into that either. That's in fact, I remember that was maybe one of the first or second question I asked you if you went off script, if you had a script. And Me? you were because you were saying, yeah, when you were on my channel one time and I was just asking you questions and I'm like, and then I'll lay off of you. One of the questions was, do you use a script? Do you yeah. like, are you Marine Marine on your channel? Are you able to be Marine or mm -hmm. are you, you know, diva in the dirt? Is she scripted? You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a show. No, no, I can't be because uh, I know I can't because then I then I'm like. I'm like, I'm like, uh, okay, uh, co coffee. Yep. <laughs> I, I just, and, and I'll like, I'll Freeze. be talking about something and I go, yeah, you know, and it's like, and then I just have, you know, and then I'm just going to go and see, and you're like, deep in the dirt. And now it looks, you know, and, and now yeah, I know it's it lost yeah. my, my energy, you know, yeah. I've done that a couple of times where it was like, especially learning the global gardening and homesteading, um, challenge, mm. learning that, that word. It was like homesteading group. I, I ended up like one point. I just went group. <laughs> the group, the group. Uh, I need to get this invite. I just couldn't say it. And then when I once I did, it was like, oh, so CR is trying to come up here. Yeah. Storms is staying here. Did you say that's why your visuals are wants me to review their teleprompter. You want me to get it and send it to you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Teleprompter. There you would go. Me. I would be really, really bad because then I'd be watching it and, you know, and, and, and you know, I, I try to make it um, again. You know, you get these people with their, their cameras and, um, and the visual is over here, but the, you know, the, you know, the lens is here, but the camera's here and they're not looking at the camera. They're looking at themselves and it's like, so. Um, I struggle with that. So yeah. it's like, you gotta look at the lens. Don't, yeah. you know, you, you first see it, you see your, you check yourself and then you're looking at the lens, trying yeah. not to look over, you know, at the camera, you know, and uh, just kind of, um, that's an important not one. here anymore. You're kind of talking to me. <laughs> <I'm just> kind of... <laughs> with, with me and being my authentic self, like in the videos, I try to speak with, like I've been raised, but then the South, when I get comfortable, I start using all the words that are comfortable to me. And yeah. mm -hmm. sometimes it's terrible. Like I go back and I look at my videos and I'm like, no, I didn't say that. I know that's not a word. I know that's not how you say it, but I get comfortable. Yeah. And sometimes my wife would actually call me on these things because like if I, before I started YouTube, I would I would be talking to her and all of a sudden it would come out and it was because I just talked to my auntie and uh -huh. they're, they're deep rooted South yeah. Georgia and mm -hmm. yeah. it comes out because that's, that's how I grew up. And that's, you know, so I try, but on my live about halfway through the live, I'm, I'm 
definitely. Is you just getting a good old go, go time and having a good time with my boy. <laughs> I can't even help. It, <laughs> yep. it just be that. But I just wanted to come up here real quick. Um, I, I see all the perspective. There's a lot of information on here. I got to get back to work. Yes. Um, I've been goofing mm-hmm. off a little bit. Um, I did a lot today, but um, I've been in mm-hmm. here 16 hours, oh, almost wow. 16 hours. So it's about time for me to wrap this day up. And, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm mad because they had to go to another event. And I did all of this cooking. I got shrimp. I got everything because they did. They do Special oh, no. Olympics. In the Special oh, yeah. Olympics. They yeah. do Special Olympics. But they then they went to another thing. And it was like, man, y'all ain't even ate. We'll eat when we finish GT. Like, man, I wanted to watch them and, you know, yeah, that enjoy that it. They present. Yeah, yeah. You know, those are the little magic moments that I really appreciate. GT yeah, is <laughs> yeah. southern Alaska. Alaska. Mm-hmm. exactly. Got a southern yeah, Alaska. So, you yes. know that that brings little like little things like that bring me joy. Like the money, I ain't mm-hmm. worried about that. If 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 money wasn't a thing, I would do things differently. But mm-hmm. it's, it's the way we have to manage. We have to have some kind of mm-hmm. trading system. You know, absolutely. But, absolutely. Yeah, but I think y'all very much for allowing me to come up. Absolutely. Just before you go, what I love in your, again, in your chats is that, you know, you'll be talking, you know, to the camera and whatever, and, um, or you're talking to your guest and then you go, people are talking to each other. People are talking. You look over in the chat. People are talking to each other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you say it with such ease and comfortability. Cause I know with me being he- like on this end of it, hosting a live, it's like, shit, I need to go and, I think I got to stop. Sorry. I got to highlight this this comment. It's right. You know, <laughs> no. I got to highlight it here. And then I got to, okay, now undo it. And like, oh, shoot, I missed that one. And, mm-hmm. and you're just like, people are talking. Yeah, people are talking to each other. People I mean, I, I might steal that line from you, GT, because I see people talking. And it's like, okay, they're talking to each other. Well, All right, I'm over here now. Okay, there I am. Yeah, it helps you keep track. <laughs> like, where you're at. I, I, oh. I can't be nobody. I'm taking notes. Mean. I'm taking notes, GT. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ciara, dude. Mm-hmm. I've been here for like the last like five minutes. Hey, CR. What's up, CR? <laughs> At least I call you on the way out. Man, you sound pretty cool, man. Oh, sound well, like you I, got a happy I, spirit. You got a happy spirit? Well, I positive spirit. Positive. Positive spirit. Okay. That's, yeah. that's okay. okay. Try to encourage you. All right. You got a channel? Oh, yeah. Right there, okay. I, 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 I just post, I actually just posted a couple of videos and a couple of shorts. So. Mm, okay, couple of sunflowers. You, you couple like of boy, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I, I admit that I'm not always happy all the time, but I mean, you know, like I tried, right? Tried to He's usually it. pretty jovial mm-hmm. or hungry yeah, or, or, hung, or hungry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a big uh, word. The latter, the latter jovial. is more correct. The latter is <laughs> yeah. more correct than the former. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, you see me in one of your comments, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you a take care, GT. Thanks for coming up. No, thank you. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, got it, dude. Mm Hmm. So you there, CR? What's up, Maury? Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Yes. No problem. Absolutely. The only thing is that when you first come in, you know, your voice is a little bit faded back, and then it starts Sorry, to. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I don't have the best heads. Uh, I, I uh, let me take a look. Yeah, <laughs> just as long as it, you know, get it closer to your your mouth and yeah, it's and just the place. Just that no, I'm are. actually using a headset. Yeah, yeah, that's no. It sounds no. That was perfect. That was perfect. Perfecto. Project. Yeah, it's like singing, right? Well, sometimes mm-hmm. you got to project. In, in you know, it's one of these things I've learned about as a content creator, right? But you know, without the gear, let's just say, you know, the ca- expensive camera, the expensive mic, right? You still have to project to, mm-hmm. into yep. your mic as much as possible, right? That's hard. Even if for you're me. not feeling, yeah. Even if you're not feeling well, try to project as much as possible, right? Because mm-hmm. people are listening. People mm-hmm. are listening out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. I think with these, like, because I, you know, I'm just using a an iPhone. Um, mm-hmm. It and for the most part, it does a pretty good job of picking up, which I'm uh, really, yeah, really ha- happy about that. Um, oh, I got yeah. these little Chinese jobbies. They're mics. They're clip-ons oh, yeah. too. But I don't yeah, know what yeah. happened to or my dead cat. Or lapel. Or lapel. Yeah, they're like lavalier. Yeah. And they this mm-hmm. part plugs into the iPhone. 
Is that kind of mm-hmm. like what you have? Yeah. Okay. That's exactly the same same thing as what I, except for mine, um, you know, you've got yours in a little box charging, right? Yeah, it's a little charging box, which is yeah. kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is just in like just a plain old box <laughs> and I keep oh. it all together so that I don't lose. Oh my like goodness. A, Does it go uh, in yeah, anything that'd be for charging? Does um, it have a little? It, uh, just the, just the uh, USB. So I, or okay. whatever, it's not a US, well, it's a USB, but I don't know what. So you have to charge each this individual, is a, yeah, individually. Individually. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got it. I might have bought it myself or some of my adults bought it for me. Or no, maybe this is the one that's actually. Oh, Bob, it's similar to yours, Bob, what I got. Okay, nice. cool. Because you always sound fine in your videos. Mine. Yeah. With just the iPhone. For some reason, I don't know if it's just the iPhone or if it's the iPhone in my case. It's hey, been getting Mr. more. Hey, OG. Um. um Sure. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. But, uh, That's okay. With, with Bob, um, have Bob, have you had it where you're using your recording and it cut out and then stopped uh, capturing any of the audio, like you know what Carol's had? That's yeah. what I would, you know. That's yeah. That was a nightmare. That was the whole thing, though. I didn't set it up. I don't think correctly on the camera because I'm still mm-hmm. like don't know that camera i was mm-hmm. gonna i was gonna say real quick here uh i know some of the channels nice. out there, they they say that having good good audio is have is better than having good video because people can mm-hmm. deal with poor video but if the sound's breaking up hard to hear it's hard, hard to follow along yeah like mm-hmm. to listen to and stuff like that right I would love get by with, you know, bad picture, but or buffering, or but if the sound goes, then it's just like ah, I can't even follow mm-hmm. along because you can't even listen to it like radio. Yeah, yeah, I would love that one. If it's the box, it's the one that's like the box. I think you're talking about growing up out of the box, it's like a square one that's a lapel. Mm-hmm. Mike. I would like that one. I've seen that. I also saw the Sure mic that you can plug right into the bottom of an iPhone, but it wasn't getting really good reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Sure one- just needs to stay okay. in, in its one little lane, I think, in with microphones. Like this is a not a Sure, but you know, they're mm-hmm. Sure 57 and whatever. Like I've got a Sure that's the old school grill microphone. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And I can make that one you know, it's just the outside that's the aesthetic. So I can make that microphone work, but other people, they'll come up to the microphone and it's just, and, and now it sounds like this. And they can't, yeah, because they don't know I, how to use it. Yeah. But I don't, I can't even tell you what I'm doing different. You know, I'm singing or whatever. So, um, well, we know to practically eat the mic with certain mics once you're <laughs> saying they're basically been told by mm-hmm. some instructor mm-hmm. somewhere, you might be that instructor to your you know, students mm. like, okay, you need to like almost kiss the mic. Could you get up to the mic, please? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, when well it, yeah. you know, you know, sometimes you got to just try it out, right? And do like, I know some, some people here on YouTube would do like a test stream and stuff like that because they're trying out like Wi Fi testing something. They just, they're just going to mm-hmm. do it, right? Because mm-hmm. sometimes you don't know. Wow. How good this... it really sounds to people. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know so, until you actually usually are editing and then you're messing with your audio yeah 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 um, or doing a live stream right so it's, mm. yeah so yeah it happens to. is this going up no i was looking at where he wears his mic oh on his, on his belt. belt yeah how are you not getting the noises yeah <laughs> like how do you like i just moved my shirt just touched my mic like all those noises oh sorry i'm, I'm touching my head oh no not 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 you sir. not you no no, 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 no i'm joking i'm joking oh, okay. oh, I'm okay. joking. he's Come playing on. along Hello. yeah I'm playing yeah. Come on. yeah sorry about that and uh well well um growing out of the box is answering that uh carol what is your oh. microphone that um I don't know what that one ended up being. I think it's a Movo, Mo- Movo, M O V O. Oh, M O V O. Because yeah. I, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with this one, but I think it, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. My biggest issue is my youngest singing and screeching in her music. You mean in the background? Yeah, that's of, what uh, I have. Yeah. Oh, and it picks yeah. it up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I, I don't know what the price is. And again, you're in U S so I like, it's like my next, I think my next purchase needs to be a gimbal. I borrowed a gimbal for a oh, period of time. I would like that. Mm-hmm. I would like one. That'd be that'd be a game changer. I'd I like one yeah. too. Yeah, to a get a gimbal. A little bit more yes. expensive. Yes. <laughs> is one is one fifty right? Oh, wait a minute. That can't be. For what? Oh, the that gimbal? the road. No, no, no. The road. Oh. It's oh. on. I think it's is it on sale at Best Buy in the states. Road Wireless Emmy Ultra. Is that the one? out of the box you're talking about and i guess the receiver oh it's two it's one mic and i guess the other part is what you wear clipped to your belt mm. i'm confused what i'm looking at here but it's 149.9 it says rxtx so yes it's two different parts Contact wireless microphone system targeted towards a more entry level consumer audience. There's also one that I saw for three ninety nine. That's why I asked. I'm not trying to like, hey, how much did you pay for that? I just don't know if I'm looking at the right one. This one has gain assist technology, automatically controls your audio levels. Aha! Uh-huh. Auto paired out of, and it's auto paired out of the box seamless compatibility with cameras smartphones computers cables included and microphones built into but both oh microphones built into both the transmitter and receiver hmm. okay so you're getting like a surround sound probably let me make a capture stereo <laughs> wireless audio in a range in a wide range of content creation application so it's basically it is made for people like us shooting video yeah. and doing yeah. audio content creators yeah regardless if on youtube or instagram or anything right tiktok or wherever mm-hmm. the content mm-hmm. creators out there okay. generally you need the similar things right you know maybe a mic you know uh tripod helps <laughs> definitely mm-hmm. a tripod helps mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For those yeah and, and try to get a good one and that's uh not always uh easy i like the, those things that you can adjust the angle get multiple different angles like for guarding or whatever so you get that get that top down view maybe an up you know so you get different perspectives of like mm-hmm. get a sense mm-hmm. of how it is there right i use i use a like a a tripod stand and then I also have these little shorter ones so that I can use them um you know kind of at a fair close distance but they also have the little tripod thing so even if I need like so again when I was sweeping I've used I'm using the small one uh oh you got yours on eBay for a hundred boom I mean I and it still work just fantastic that you got such a deal Wow. I mean, I know people that have those gimbals and their setups where it's for hands free, like for people that go hiking and stuff like that, right? You see that kind of, mm-hmm. or that selfie kind of pose that people do, right? And stuff like that. Okay. I'm finally getting close. Because it's R O D cool. with a slight, a slash of the O. Yes, uh, that's it. R O D E with the slash through the O. Yeah. Now I just have to find the. ME. Yeah, the wireless ME. Mm-hmm. Well, I can oh, look okay. at it uh, later. Um, but it's um if because we yeah, pay can... one fifty, it's probably Canadian like two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Two thousand. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Two weeks of work and and yeah. uh and I'll be able to uh I'll be able to afford that microphone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Game changer, right, Maura? You know, it'll be, it'll be worth it. It'll be a game changer. Yeah. 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 Oh. Well, I've just noticed yeah. that, like, with this 14, and and they're, um, and also, uh, you know, uh, my my Mac, my MacBook mm-hmm. has one, like, it was a secondhand MacBook, um, mm-hmm. and so one speaker is is blown on it, so it's all in one speaker, and I, and I sometimes will come and you know put earphones on or put yeah. it on a, a little. A thing to uh to check the sound to make sure it's all okay but Mm -hmm. um i didn't do it i haven't done it for the last little bit because i had some of my uh my sound equipment uh packed away and so it's like okay get it back in 
where where I am working um, and kind of thing. So so it's like, oh, do I really know what it's sounding like? Um, yeah, that's another thing too, right? I know even think media, I think our uh, channels would say, you know, hence you uh, upload it at private first and just play it back locally for your device. And say, eh, okay, it still sounds good. Okay, I think I can go public or sk- start scheduling it in. Mm. Stuff like that. Mm. Okay. Uh, I... I remember the only thing I've had a problem with is the Filmora where it's playing on my phone and then I go to transfer it and it looks good, looks fine, get it onto, you know, YouTube and it pictures suddenly this big in the middle of the screen. I had that happen, I think, twice with Filmora and I'm just like, I don't know why it does that. I can't figure out how it does, like, what the heck? It doesn't do it with my other ones, but. Oh, okay. No, you know, that's what I don't. I, know, I was going to say, I know, I know sometimes that aspect ratio is that. Well, because obviously shorts are like that certain uh, portrait type of aspect ratio yeah. compared to landscape. That it does. It does. Yeah. yeah, it does do that when I have more in that landscape where it's vertical oh, okay. Okay. compared to like if I'm shifting and I'm shifting mm-hmm. down. So, yeah, it could be an aspect ratio that I'm not getting the numbers correct. It yeah, looks fine, like when it's in my phone, but then when it goes to a laptop, it doesn't look right. It looks really small, and then yeah, for we, some reason, yeah. it keeps that like smaller yeah. size, and then it transfers it now to the phone. And I'm like, it was not looking like that when I edited yeah. it. Like, like if you're doing, if you're like using a different device, have access to different devices that can log in with your account, right? Then you can watch it private and be like. Uh, yeah, okay. I need to, yeah. <laughs> right. something like that. If you have a phone, laptop, that no, that's of... a good idea. Release it, but well, keep because, it private, and then well, because it gives you a chance to like just make sure, right? Just make sure of the last yeah. little bit here, right? Because once idea. it's out there, you, you don't want to be removing it, and it's just like, oh, sorry, uh, I had to change yeah. this. Hmm. <laughs> Because sometimes people won't come back to watch the update. I just watched mm-hmm. it. I thought they wanted, you know, and they go do yeah. something, come back. It's like, what happened to it? I thought I saved it or faked it. Because hmm. I've seen that happen before too. And people, I start watching something. I was trying to leave a comment. How come I can't leave a comment? Because Hi, they Barbara Washington. It. Oh, <laughs> okay. Good night, Mumsy. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> good night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it spelt right, Larks. It's mum. Mum with a U. Mum with you. Mum. I just want to go and, uh, because it's like I didn't stop. um, She's so sweet, your mum. I love that video where she's praising Jesus right in the chair. And you guys are having church. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my church online, which is great. Mm -hmm. So um, I just wanted to double. This is... This is what I'm seeing as. Mm-hmm. Is that it? That's what I saw. The TXRX. I don't. I'm not positive. So I just was. Uh, I'll I bring it out, so. growing out of the box, just to. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to have. I have to have people hold my hand for everything. It's like, is this the right one? <laughs> Will this work? Yeah, I just mm-hmm. want to know because I do like. Because um, I have just recently had some interviews done, and they were using ones more like that with the dead cat on it. I think one of them had a dead cat or maybe they didn't um, or they had the ability to have the dead cat. So, oh, let me just grab. Yes, I know what that means. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I know what that means too. Yeah, he said that's it. (laughs) Oh, okay. That's the one. That's the Emmy. I'm I'm looking at that stop there. Oh, I did it. I stopped sharing the screen. So, Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to see Diva's mom get after her on the live stream like she did to her bow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, well, I will look in because I, I think this is, um, it's probably from the actual uh, country where they make them. And um, uh, so I'll go and I'll look and see if I can find them. But And then I can know what the um, the price is. For someone I hear. So let me just catch up. So I asked the question. I'm certain that there were an- great answers. Essie came out of the bedroom quite loudly humming Beethoven. So I heard none. Uh, oh. 
Um, I, I saw the question. Yeah. I'm not really good at doing the... Gonna go up here. You're going up? Yeah, I'm going up right now looking for it. Well, maybe not you, but it's pretty bad. Nope. Because I think, oh, I think they were talking about their kid. Let's see. Oh, uh, my, that didn't finish. Is this this. One? That one, maybe, yeah. I've tried to take it out of my film more. Okay. Oh, back up more. Let's just see here. Um, my biggest issue is my youngest singing and screeching her and her music. Yeah, I'm not uh, seeing the question. Oh Any God. ideas how to fix what? Your daughter in the background? <laughs> is that... Am oh, I missing well, the question? Like the sound, I, I, like the audio part of, because I have that same issue. Oh, with background noise? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, or we have Mike wind here. And I do, a mic I would knew. Help. What? A mic? I'm sorry. I know that a mic would help, like noise yeah. canceling, for example. Like if you think of people that do like reporters that report during a hurricane, right? With heavy wind, right? You know, they have noise canceling kind of mics and, you know, really good microphones. Hey, bro. Right? Hey, bro. Thanks for coming in. I know it's late for you, but um, sorry. Uh, sorry, CR. What so, yeah, Mike is... will help with that. Um, it's mm -hmm. gardening where you queue, if you can get it. Because mine wasn't that expensive, it was off of Amazon. Now, you could do it with apps to a certain degree, but, you know, obviously, a mic is nice yeah. to a better job because you're not recording it at all, right? So Yeah. And Filmora so does noise cancellation. Sorry, I didn't mean yeah, to cut yeah, you some, off there, yeah. but along that same line. And it makes you sound like sometimes you're in a can when they do it. Um, when yeah, you, use that. you know, th that's the trade-off, right? I mean, I know there's some yeah. no re noise reduction and stuff like that, but it's a little bit different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because she was saying so. she uses film more, and I've tried it there too for wind one time, and I ended up sounding like a little bit like I was in a can. Right. Yeah, I, I think I. Yeah, I think I've tried the Filmora app before too. I tried the free version of that. I tried it out. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a good good uh, suggestion. Q is uh, filming your videos during the day and doing vo voiceovers on them when it's quiet. Oh, that too. Yeah, speak of voiceovers. Quiet. Speak of voiceovers. If you guys, if you guys do voiceovers, try to do it in the same kind of location. Like if you're inside, do it inside. If you're outside, do it outside. Right. So as much as possible. So it kind of sounds like, uh, yeah, this is not a voiceover. I'm not mm -hmm. speaking. Right. Because mm -hmm. some people can tell when it's a voiceover, right? Like sometimes you got to do a voiceover just because you know you just got to. But mm -hmm. what what do you mean, Big B, about what? How does timing weigh in? Do you release your uh, videos, you mean? The timing of release? Or scheduling or premiering something? Or are you meaning what we're talking about with gardening? Were you cute? Mm. That's you so know, hard, that could be an yeah. issue. That could be an issue if you have, like, there are people around and there yeah. are our noises, background noises, but it's just like, oh, really? Someone's going to walk grass now mm -hmm. <laughs> when I'm out there? Mm -hmm. It happens. So sometimes you do have to do a voiceover. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't have any ability to, um, to use any, uh, to understand to do an, a software that you can, um, take out that extra sound, um, no. An abrupt, uh, like you know, a loud, abrupt sound. Uh, well, what you can do also in with the software is like you can, right when it happens, you reduce the volume down and then pick it back up. Mm -hmm. oh, so, like so you'll hear it a little, but it won't be as loud in comparison, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Well, there yeah. are a lot Unless of apps. You have the microphone, can... microphone close to you or whatever. I again, it's not something that I'm. Um, proficient in mm -mm. Mm, I yeah i always cook inside yes you do <laughs> yeah. yeah okay 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 cute. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. i see where yeah. you're going there i see you. yeah she's trying to make you hungry like, like usual. yeah um I mean, it's working and you're not trying to fool on anything anyone yes i find voiceovers like when i've listened to some people and it's like they're super calm and they're just saying mm. what's going on then they picked up the can and then we're yeah. and i 
when I'm doing it, I'm like sweating and yeah. so tense. And it's like, and I'm trying to, you know, say as I'm watching the video and it's like, it's doing well. And mm -hmm. then, you know, and it's like, you know, it's like, and then we, you know, then we chopped up green peppers, onions, tomatoes, and cilantro, um, and then threw in green beans. You know, <laughs> like it's like, <laughs> it's like, why are you rushing that one? And it's like, shoot, now I got to go back to the beginning and say it all again. You know. So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because usually when you're doing voiceovers and apps, it plays it, so you're trying to do it. <laughs> time it well they have like these melodies I, like have you heard that cr like they'll do it too there's a certain melody oh. that'll be almost to the way they are saying and pronouncing their words and like what maureen was like just talking about like tiktok will have these informative videos and it's okay. like a melody the way they use their voice and there's no like and then da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. yeah my, <laughs> unless I mean... that's the trend yeah, but I, I do that. I just yeah. trip over myself. I trip over I myself all the time. It's like, I'm gonna uh, give shoot. Because yeah. I even watched um the one that Gardening Warrior Q and I like, uh, Robbie and Gary. I think it is Robbie and Gary. She has, she's Robbie. He's Gary, and she did a short like that with the melody. I'm like, oh, I see what you're doing there. I see, I see. Got that melody. Mm -hmm. Well, do things yeah. that are working well for you, right? I mean, if Sarah well, no, she was doing a trend, trend, is what I meant. She was doing. Oh, she's okay. their channel's okay. humongous. They're, but she did a trend short and did the melody, the melodic voice that they were using at the time that was getting lots of hits, just mm. for the melodic way they were saying things and looping what they were saying too. They were looping it. So it would make well, sense going into like that last word would make sense going into that first word that you oh, okay. start with i can't well, sometimes sometimes you know certain little things like for example halloween's coming up right so i'll say these halloween videos are probably going to show up they're not already showing up on your feed somewhere you know for example so you're jumping on to that tr current trend at the, at the time like right now for example would be halloween you know mm. for example mm -hmm. you know because sometimes that, that timing thing, right? You're trying to time in something so people are watching it because they're interested in that at the moment. For example, Halloween, mm -hmm. for example, right? So if you're so if you were a channel making costumes, right? Now would be your really big month, right? <laughs> kind of deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not a I I don't do uh, Halloween. Me and stuff, but like we that. could do. Oh, we but, could but, start but, but, doing fall. You guys, but yeah, yeah, do, yeah right? I do so, fall, fall, but yeah, so, but no, you do, you do start thinking about, you know, I am gonna, um, you know, Christmas is gonna be heading around the corner for us, mm -hmm. and to start thinking about that. And right now, it's it's me putting the um, garden to bed. It's you know step by step, so I'm not doing it all at the same time. The harvest, the finishing off of it. Yeah, exactly. September, so, October. Sure. So growing out of the box, um, Da Vinci Resolve, you know, it, the free version, oh. the software free version, is it still a, a beast? Um, on I tried a... it before. I, I, I actually have used Da Vinci Resolve before. Oh, yeah. okay. it, it can be more, Sorry. it can be more daunting even for someone that's more experienced. Yeah, right? because... I've heard it. I heard that the learning curve on it is, is a, yeah. can be a bit. But it's very powerful what you can do, though. The things yeah. you can do in it. I you have just got to learn it. Final cut put on mine, and I still have not learned. Final cut? Yeah, that I was think like that is. Three years ago. <laughs> I've watched maybe one, one day, video on it. Yeah, that's right. One day, Carol's like, I'm, I'm 97. I'm going to get this video on my final <laughs> pro cut. I'm going to get it. Oh, it's right. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to just vaporize. We don't do digital no more. It's in the air. You're just going to breathe that content in. So it's too late for that editor, ma'am. That's right. <laughs> so sad to that. Because uh, I, I, I have a fairly yeah. young, um, well, well, no, I guess maybe it's not young, um, desktop computer. And I think my friend did put a solid state drive in it. But okay. Um, it does some funky little things. So I just went, um, you use a DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, there are no limits. That's awesome. Um, I just wondered if the 
if the full version that you pay for is, um, you know, needs more power. If you're just using the free version, you go all good, all good. So I'm just going to slip to the loo. I'm going to skip to the loo. Okay. Skip, you all skip. You know, skip, skip talk to my loo. No. Talk amongst yourselves. Don't talk have no accidents, you. please. That's right. Oh, oh, I, oh, and remember, don't bring the mic with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh. Get to remember the mute. There's a reason but there's a mute. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's yeah. terrible. People have done that. Yeah. Right. I forget. Well, that was on something where the guy went into the bathroom with a live mic. <laughs> He's like, uh, oh yeah, I forgot the mute. Oops. Yeah, I think somebody ran in and told him. But yeah, the DaVinci Resolve. I was just looking it up, but I don't. Here's your mic. It's on but 18. I mean, DaVinci Resolve. I'm seeing. I think so. Yeah, I I I used like 16. I think. This one is the Black Magic. It's called. So, is there a free version of that? Well, there's there's a lot, you know. I've been doing this kind of stuff for a while now. Like I, I've said this on my own channel before. I used to run a, game, a different channel for gaming, right? A, while, mm -hmm. a long time ago, right? So I've seen like the apps and the programs change over time. And it's like how, yeah. you know, something you had to pay for a long time, you know, 10 years ago now is like, it's a Practice standard, free. right? Just standard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it. Thing, right? What you're paying for now is like this, like, let's just say like, AI driven thing, or okay. uh, you know, something uh, with you get more out of it, right? You get more out of it, yeah. It's yeah, I bad. Final Cut Pro was the one that was in when I first right, started. There's a lot, there's a lot of apps out there that you can do. There's a lot of odds out there, lots and lots. I mean, like mm -hmm. plenty out there. Many, many of them I've tried. Me you know, too, Final I'm good. yeah. I mean, there's Final Cut, there's you know, there's Adobe, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff like that, right? There's, uh, yeah, because uh, Adobe was Photoshop, right? They had Photoshop, the Photoshop there's early there's, on. Yeah, they're, they had the video editing, the, the, all this other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You know, you don't have to have it to have good content, right? You can still do things with free software or freeware, right? Oh, yeah. Or, you don't have to. Yeah, buy you, it. Can, you can, you can, you know, because. But I see what growing out of the box is saying, though. Like he's got the kick butt, you know, microphones now, and he's got like he's investing in his business. Like this is a business to him, so you know that would probably be the next thing to invest in is you know upping your game on your video, you know, yeah. editing. I mean, if, like I said, a simple tripod is a good start at times. Mm -hmm. It allows you to do things that, like you don't have to hold. Like I've seen these big videos of times of some smaller channels, and it's like, yeah, a tripod would help, so you don't actually have to hold the phone and oh, you're mm -hmm. recording and do that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, mine always seem to fall over, or I misplace them somewhere in my house. I have the um, Joby, the bendable mm -hmm. one, the gorilla, and then just for my birthday, my daughter got me a quite tall standard one that I could use with the 35 millimeter and my phone. So, and then I have another one for, um, when I do artwork, but I haven't been able to do artwork in a bit. Yeah. She's going to need to see that in about the four yeah. gigabytes. Yeah. Something like that, you know, so if you're doing multiple camera angles, I mean, I've done a multi-camera angle cooking before, and it's quite interesting to do real like that because mm -hmm. you get a different yeah, that point too. of view, different point of view. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and doing multi-camera angles is not that difficult to do. Really, the only thing like you always got to remember to do something like a countdown or like some sort of sound so you time that sound. That mm -hmm. way, the video just seems like it's just part of it, even though, and you just use the audio or the voice that sounds better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. that makes sense. That way you're transitioning from like the left side to the right side, mm -hmm. and people are like, "Oh, All right." Like mm -hmm. you can do oh, that kind uh, of stuff with one that. camera, but it's easier with multiple cameras. Because I know some sometimes people ask my friend, "It's like how many cameras do you got? Just one?" Because it looks like mm -hmm. multiple camera angles, right? That kind of walk yeah. away, like. 
the hiking or uh, bushcrafting community would show like walking away from the camera, right? And mm -hmm. actually, you know, they're, you know, that kind of scene, right? So, I mean, yeah, I've done those just... before too. Yeah. Because you would see that in, um, let's say, more professional type of shows like uh, Survivor Man, right? Survivor Man's known, well known for walking away from the camera or a selfie a lot, right? A lot of that stuff, right? Setting up multiple cameras and stuff like that. That's awesome. Sweet Thumb, I'd love to know what the name of that tripod mic stand is. Yeah. The mount adapter. That's... Ooh. Well, I'm using, I, I would need it for a, a phone um, uh -huh. because I've just, it, it's hard to buy tripods. Um, you know, I've bought expensive ones, like uh -huh. not super expensive ones. And I've bought, you know, cheap ones. And it's like, whether you're, you know, whether I'm buying a $20 one or a $100 one, it's still the same thing, still pretty crappy. And um, <clears throat> so I'd like a, I'd like a nice, I know Justin Rhodes, but he uses like a real, a real digital camera, I think. Oh yeah. And, They're like um, professional he's got, cameras. He's got some sort of tripod. Like it's, it takes him all of 15 seconds to zip, zip, zip. And it's already like, he's oh, walking yeah. with it and he's real. gets it right down. So a DSLR and all the other stuff, right? I used Mac for 1500 with eight gig video Ram and with DaVinci Revolve free you are compatible with oh with any movie studio awesome oh well yeah because see, see i bought this I mac i bought this mac and it has a it has a terabyte and it was a i think it's a 20 i, I think it's a 2015 and it's the last one it's the last version where you can um actually upgrade your stuff in it so it does have a terabyte but I'm not a I'm not a Mac user, and I mm -hmm. have no idea. I've used one before. Um, I've, I've one. always been a PC PC user, um, except for you know now I, I'm an iPhone user. But um, so I'm still trying to learn the Mac because it's like I'm 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 forever going. Well, well, where is that? You know, it's like search, find, and then how do I find the? Where did the downloads go? You know, um, I almost well you got to use the Finder. <laughs> yes, yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> But, literally, but, I mean, literally, but sometimes <laughs> like when I'm, but this thing is, is that when I'm in another, like when I'm in Snappa and I want to, um, I want to up or I want to download or no, I want to mm. upload something. I have a hard time finding the file, the file folder, you know, on, on the, the, on the, on my desktop. Like, it's like, why can't I, like, it should be that it's right there and I have to do a lot of back, back, back and, you know, just to find it, whatever. So. But um, yeah, that's, uh, I, I wasn't thinking um, with the DaVinci Resolve, I was thinking I would put it on my PC, but it's like, seriously, you just got this Mac and um, with the terabyte, it's like I could put, well, except for I wouldn't know how to put the DaVinci Resolve onto the terabyte that's been added into this thing, so. I'm um, trying to look it up again. I'm saying like terabyte this and terabyte that. Terabyte. And I'm like, I don't know what I have. But I cannot seem to find it. Terabyte is very big. Yes, it is very big. I'm like, where is my, my information? Mm. Are you a Mac user? Yeah. Mm. That's what See, I'm, on a, I'm on a PC. Oh, you know, this also reminds me as a content creator, like especially if you're recording a lot of stuff. Try to name things, keep things organized as much as possible. Your files, oh, yeah. your your uh, projects too, right? Yeah, I usually well, name them by what, what what's in it or what the title mm -hmm. might be for the video, I, right? You know, sunflower video. Yeah, well, what <laughs> one of the that, things that, that way I remember. One thing mm -hmm. I do it is I started doing because um, I wanted to save everything onto an external hard drive is I would start with a month. So I start with everything right now is OCT 2023 and then the, the title of whatever it is. Um, mm -hmm. And that way, all my Octobers will be all together and I can easily find them and stuff. And um, yeah. I know Not it's important, It's important, especially if you're recording content to use later on in the season. Like let's say, I mean, even for me, when I was doing the sunflower videos this year, some of the the intro I reused the intro, right? So I had to keep that in for a while, right? 
and I have pitchers that I had to keep on the on like a phone for a while just because I need them for later on. You know, I'm using them right now, but I need them for later on when I kind of finish that series of sunflower videos. Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense. That way, there's you know, when you look at it, it looks like a series, right? It's just like previously on you know from the last yeah. one you saw this, and you know, there's that continuity. way it kind of looks like yeah, yeah, continuity. Continuity. yeah exactly, but... yeah. Yeah, like I even use a very similar thumbnail, right? Maybe change the text slightly or something like that. Change the title okay, slightly. There is on stage stand CMO1. That's the adapter. Uh, Sweet Thumb, did you put up the... Sorry, I'm just, I was still looking for it. Uh, no, no, Sweet, no, it hasn't put it up yet. Oh, you're a lifetime Mac fan, hey? But more so in the old days before Bill Gates took over. <laughs> uh, like I said, I've used a Mac before too. So. Okay, mm-hmm. video RAM. Okay. I don't know where I don't know where it would say that though. Like it says my storage, but they're so nice. Even mm-hmm. though this is my Apple, it says, "Well, you basically could have," and it shows me what you get in the you know you see in the store. It's like we mm-hmm. have sixteen gigabytes of unified memory. And then you could have possibly the 512 gigabytes, or you could have the one terabyte or the two terabyte SSD. And even though we're showing you your computer, we cannot tell you. You'll have right. to go to <laughs> right. apple.com yeah. and register to find yeah. that out. So, Storms, you say, oh, I can help you with that, Maureen. It's fairly easy. Oh, oh okay. Right. Sure, I'm sure it's fairly easy for you, but... Um, you'll have to fight my brain that wants to be resistant and have, you know, and be, uh, go, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know where to find it. I don't know what to do. I don't know why it's not set up for me. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, and so, yeah, I'm understanding that. So sure. I've got a terabyte to host okay. the thing, but it's the video that, um, uh, uh, that, that I need to have, I need to have a higher video, um, card. So, isn't enough after creating videos for one year. Uh, ask me how I know. Well, I mean, mm. I mean, storms, especially if you're recording in like 4K, a high, a bigger resolution, long videos, right? That's going to take a lot of space on the hard drive. I'm up on the Apple growing in the box. I put about this Mac and clicked on that. Okay. You can make a movie. Okay. I'll have to see if I have. Um, uh, huh. 8 VR. Oh, maybe. No, that just, I don't want to click on that. It's telling me I have a software update. Now would not be the time. Uh, later. Yeah. Postpone. Later. <laughs> later. Later. We'll just remind you, Carol, right? Before you leave, yeah. you're like, yeah, yeah. You got to run that update. Yeah. I'm not okay. going to put up oh, this Mac in, on my PC. I'm just not going to look that up because that just won't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm surprised how many content creators out there that just started and it's just like they're learning so much. I'm just like, wow, you already did this, you already did that. Like, I actually have a friend that just started their channel more recently and they've been doing stuff and it's like, see, you're learning about this, even though you didn't learn former former education about it and learn it in school or whatever right you've just been learning by doing it or watching videos and then oh i'll apply that idea in you know mm-hmm. and stuff like that you know i know walk through the, the door and it'll transition to me for me to from the other side i'm using mm-hmm. one camera only i gotta move the camera but i'll make it look like seamlessly i'm walking through the door and the, the next scene i'm right on yep. the other side that kind of deal yep. right yeah yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do a little bit more of that. And I do I have I am using two iPhones uh, when I'm doing my cooking. So I have one low, one high, so that you can actually see my hands up close. Um, and I will do some over the top, you know, again, bring my tripod up, but but I'm liking this. It's um just the the first initial my very first time to to line them up to do the edits. Um mm-hmm. it, it was I ended up doing some of the edits I didn't bring bring the I didn't bring the uh, second um, 
film over and it was, and I was chopping up the end of it and then uh, chopping up the end and I had it all set. And then it was like, oh, well, I can do the same thing with the beginning of it. So I go and I bring in the file. Well, it just deleted everything I'd already done on the top layer. So I had to do it all over again. So oh. I'm looking, yeah, so I'm looking at this on stage stand. So I'm going to leave that up. Um, uh, you know what I also find that can help too, depending on how deep you're editing, right? Sometimes I'll actually duplicate the project file just in case I'm like, uh, I'm going too far in and I can't undo all the stuff for some mm -hmm. reason or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. That way you you still have a quote unquote save point that you know that it's still, you can still restart from there versus starting from scratch, right? Because you, mm -hmm. you did so, so much that you don't even know how to fix it now. You yeah, know, get something back, right? Especially when it comes to editing. I find that, you know, sometimes I'll do it like that. And it'll be like, because maybe I want to try something else, but I'm like, I'm not sure where it's going to lead me. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you, then you have a spot that you can return back to, right? That That's not just at the beginning <laughs> of the project, but a little bit like an hour ago or something like that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes that can help too. Hmm. Because because another thing is maybe you want uh this is gonna be the base of the video, but I'm gonna make a special version for Instagram, make a special one here for shorts on YouTube, make one for TikTok or whatever, right? So then mm -hmm. you can add very specific items in, but it's all based on the that original one, right? You just yeah. change a few little tweaks, so it's like. It's the version the, for my Instagram ver uh, right. Users. Well, I have done it. I've actually done it where I've done two cameras where I'm doing one in landscape for the for the long form, and then I have a one in in uh, portrait for doing the shorts. Um, yeah, and I'm, reels but I'm or TikTok. yeah, yeah, the shorts, reels, or TikTok. So then I'm, I'm, you know, I'll do the step for this one, and then I'll do the step for this one. But the only problem is sometimes I'm doing this but i'm looking here to uh um you know looking over here so that camera's watching me the long form is watching me you know it's one thing if i'm talking direct but if it's just part of it where i'm just showing it uh so that was a little bit uh a little bit tricky for me but you know i was able to do it and uh had had no no problem but um i'm liking the idea of doing double cameras so that i can have a um you know close up of the hands close up of the hands low and then the rest of me up high mm -hmm. so like i said if, if the audio is in sync like you're doing this one two three clapping or because yeah. you'll time yeah. that you'll, you'll you'll time that in the editing right so of course yeah because then yeah, yeah you can it's just, known as the waveform when you yeah, see that you right can just and you just it. line that up yeah you just yeah, yeah you just line yeah. that up and everything just rolls absolutely yeah my my problem was was that i had done two different time frames and i'm editing the the back end of it um first mm. and did all the did all the edits and then wasn't thinking that okay when you drop down you know this one which is you know it was 20 minutes of footage well it's going to blend over into what you've already edited so it just canceled it all so Mm. I, so know, I, you, know, uh, I know i started in the so, early 2000s with digital eight and a pentium thinkpad and vegas video just doing transitions took hours this stuff is no easy uh yeah 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 well so, yeah sorry. see i see i've tried that vegas video before too so <laughs> i like mm -hmm. i said i ran a, a nerd channel before back in 06 so <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is before. Yeah, this is before HD was actually common here on the platform. Right. <laughs> so it was way different yeah, back we've then. We've come a long way, baby. Because uh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. very first, our very first uh, PC computer. Oops. You know, my husband and I, we thought we were smart, smart, smart because um, oh, no, you're still smart. You're still smart. Yeah. yeah. No, no, we were super smart back then. Well, and, you're still uh, super smart. And oh. what they had was you could just get, I think it was, um, I think it was, you could get a computer like with 250 megabytes. Um, oh, but they had some that you, you could get, there was two slots and you could, which you'd be able to um, increase man. the memory. And we thought, 
we're going to get the two slots so that we can actually upgrade our computer and not just have the 250 megabyte sets. The, we were like, well, we're really going to, you know, we're really going to go to town with that. And it's like a matter of time. It was like <laughs> 250 megs. Like what the heck? Uh, <laughs> well, now compare that to like, you get, I got more on that on my phone. <laughs> But, yeah. mm -hmm. and no kidding. Has, yeah, has increased so much that like you could do like a long time ago it's like green screen. It's just like you had to pay mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. Right. Now you get for, you can get it for free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some free those free I think Homestead, screen Homestead screen Aquarius. is just, like easy. You can Yeah, I think idea. Homestead Aquarius, you're thinking of the the olden days, not older the times. Olden days. The olden <laughs> days. Gear, been listening for about 20 minutes, but doing the grocery stuff, cut and chop and separate and seal bagging and good stuff, commenting to the AI accounts, the views and watch time. Back to it. Well, thank you very much, Gear. Up, that was gear? very nice. <laughs> yeah. Gear. Very nice, gear. Thanks, Gear. So, grown out of the boxes, B's been waiting. Did you find it, darling? Well, I found the about this. Yeah. And then it shows under the storage, but it doesn't show like video storage. And then it's more, what was it like? Um, what was that basic one? It says it's my flash storage, but I've got 102.21 gigabytes available and I've used 245.11. So my math is not mathing right now. It doesn't sound like any of the gigabytes that I gave me before. I don't. I think might have that. to talk to support. I'll be one of those people. I'm sorry. I'm on the Mac right now. Okay. Specifications, maybe. Well, maybe, maybe you can. Maybe you can go over to Best Buy and ask the Geek Squad, <laughs> right? Yeah. <Okay. laughs> really, really, lady, you couldn't find it on your computer. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Let's see, maybe, it just takes maybe. me right back to that same place where it doesn't tell me. Hmm. Just you know, you can offer some food for some tech support, Carol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I got some garden plants. You know, you know, oh, you know. Okay. Here's some squash. Here's some tomatoes. Bananas. Can I get some tech support, please? It's more like bananas. I got bananas and papaya. Yeah, yeah, or something like Tell that. me how to do this. You know, start bartering. Be for the, it. Uh, mm. No, I didn't see that. And I'm probably got like multiple windows open. Hold on, behind us, because I keep clicking the away, beat. but I don't think I'm closing. Well, I wonder if you could just even write Navida oh. GeForce GTX no, in there, I which I should write that down when I'm on my own Mac. All right, that would be more like is that hard? I a support. Oh no, this is just a support. Like talk to somebody. Oh hello. Carol, you and I are so much the same. Like, we're just like, yeah, I'm just... Da, 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 da. I'm just clicking like... on things until it makes sense. <laughs> I'll just keep pressing buttons until it does something. <laughs> yes. I click until on this. goes to black. All right, hold on. The specifications. Yeah, it just... No, it, this is just like the options at the store. Mm. Hold on. Which one? Let me see. Identify it. I'd like to identify it. That's what I'm asking you. Damn you. Oh, cool. That's very cool, sweet thumb. I'm cool really not this bad, though. Okay. Well, when people are watching you, then it just gets, it just makes it worse. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yes, well, just, sure I don't know. Oh, yeah, sure I'll have to look it up later because it's just not, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put some work into this about this Mac because it's not going to tell me about Well, I mean, Mac. it goes with anything, right? I mean, let's see, I learned how to edit on more like a uh, computer side. So using these apps on the phone where it was newer for me, right? So I had to learn mm -hmm. a few things that I had previous mm -hmm. knowledge, right? So mm -hmm. some things just get more e naturally or easier, but I'm like, oh, so oh, that's how I can you do this on the app. <laughs> oh. It says that I have the chip. Does that matter? I have the Apple M1 chip. It's the M1. So at least I know that now. I haven't, I haven't used a Mac for quite a long time now. In a while. <laughs> I haven't used okay. an iMac for a long time. Oh. 
yeah, it's an M1 2020, but then it says identify it. You just did. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to have to look this up later. I can't. I don't know. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, sleep on it, right? <laughs> I'm so mm-hmm. sorry. See it with fresh eyes, as they say. I mean, yeah. sometimes even when you're editing, you got to remember sometimes you got to peel away from it for a little bit, get some fresh eyes on it. Because you're staring at the screen for long periods of time. Sometimes it's just like, you might miss something just because you right under your okay memory. so it's in the overview it says memory eight gig apple m1 <laughs> but if i ask yeah that's under my overview that's what it says version 12.3 of my mac os monterey darling Mm-hmm. Let me go back up to what he said before. Go ahead, carry on. You just don't pay attention to silly on me. See, I just clicked off of it. I've got probably five Mac windows open behind this window <laughs> that we're on now. Yeah, it's pretty on the last window or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty here, guys. I found it finally. I found it. But yeah, I mean, well, you know, like I said, I've seen people that never had previous education or knowledge about it actually learn something on their own and it's actually getting better at it like yeah let's just say the video aspect videoing it transitioning in their scene talking to it like mm-hmm. communicating to it going Absolutely. live and all that stuff i'm like wow mm-hmm. you know it always encourages me to up my my game and everything's like okay now i gotta oh. be this good in gardening <laughs> do this mm-hmm. other stuff too right mm-hmm. so. Yeah, well, I I first started um, just editing on my iPhone, um, you know, and and I, you know, and it's like big fingers trying to, you know, get these edits, but I, it, you know, it would work. And then as so I was my help. Yeah, I well, I think I was, I think that was what I was on my Christmas wish list or something like that. And then I ended up getting an iPad, but it didn't have enough memory to, like, to even barely run iMovie. It was more of a business iPad and. Oh, okay, and then, okay. And now First I've moved on to the Mac, <laughs> and it's, and it's yeah. um, super, super nice. No, the, this this um, iPad wasn't, um, it, it just wasn't built with a lot of um, memory. It was, yeah, it was, no, no. It was sales, salesmen, and it was just for them to track, you know, and, oh, and the company, okay, I see. The, it, so they were like brand spanking new, and the company folded, so. Yeah, because um, I'm, you know, right now, I'm using yeah, I'm using a phone that's yeah. like several generations back. So like, it's not like I'm even using the latest phone well, version either, right? It's just, but I'm I'm I know how to navigate through those apps, right? I'm like, oh, I know what this does, right? Mm-hmm. This is this is a uh, green screen or background remover or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we mm-hmm. can get to normal bit. Yeah, well, I just discovered that the that I can remove the backgrounds in my Snappa, and that's you know been just like woo. So I can, uh, and it does a very good job of cutting cutting um, me out of the image, and so then I can do whatever I want with the background. Yeah, so. you can add a little bit more value into the video. Yeah, spice it up a little bit. Yeah, well, no, that's just for my thumbnail. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I yeah, I, I am trying to learn how to use more uh, green screen, um, green screen things um, and putting, you know, text on the on the screen. Um, and again, I have to add that in, you know, after creating it in Snap because iMovies is okay. very static. It's like you can just have it in the middle, you know, top. Oh, you yeah. Know. You don't get that kind of customization that you would like. No all the way nope. yeah that you get in our apps like which if you were using davinci resolve you can davinci have resolve it. there's a plenty of those like software apps out there davinci resolve mm-hmm. adobe premiere all this other stuff right <laughs> they're not give you a little bit more control over something versus something like iMovie or something mm-hmm. like that oh, nothing wrong if you use it but you know sometimes you some people graduate away from it because it's like, I want to do a little bit more. <laughs> I mm-hmm. want a little bit more customization in there, right? Yeah, well, that's kind of what my goal is. But I just thought once I got the Mac, because I knew iMovie already, I would stick with it. But again, okay. this winter season could be a good opportunity for me to learn something like DaVinci 
resolve or the other one that's well, just uh, final, one, final pro cut. What, how I learned some of this stuff was just watching it and it's like, how can I apply this to what I do to, as a content creator, you know? And mm -hmm. Then I'll try with something I have and be like, okay, then you learn how to do this kind of, well, because I've shown even with free apps and stuff like that, like, um, that you can do the screen screen thing and people are, I, I said in the video, yeah, as you can tell, I really enjoyed editing this, by the way. And people are like, yeah, you really did CR. <laughs> <Just> like, because <laughs> I put in so much, a little bit more into it, right? Right. It was a more nature thing. I'm like, ah, I just added that in. Do this walk away scene with, and stuff like that. There's text that seems like it's three dimensional because it's going around me, behind me, and all that stuff. Just, mm -hmm. You guys can all do it, by the way. I know you guys all can do it. It's just how do you apply it to your own content, right? Mm. You know, things like think media and stuff like that. They they provide general tips, but you got to apply it to your own uh, content, right? Some things work better for certain channels or for certain niches, right? It's just like stuff like that, right? And uh, something like, for example, like text or whatever. Oh, okay. I'm a, my opinion about text is that it should be noticeable and readable. No point in putting text on the screen if you can't read it. That's it's right. Too small. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because then, yeah. then if, remember, not everyone's watching this on okay. a big screen TV. Some people are no. watching a very small phone. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, yeah. I can barely make up the text. So sometimes you yeah. make the text bigger or with less words or, you know, you reword it. So yeah, more of it fits on, right? Yeah, depending exactly. what it is, right? Sometimes the words mm -hmm. are just long. <laughs> I'm like, well, you don't yeah. use such a long word, Maureen. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you try to shorten it up as much as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Well, because mm -hmm. if if there's less text, then usually you can make the text bigger. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think on Snap it lets me, you know, I can expand the spacing and the height of the words. Um, oh well, I know some of those. Them. Yeah, I know some of the uh, video editing apps allow you to adjust the spacing, the character size, or the line distance and stuff like that, so you can just get it almost just perfect, right? Just where mm -hmm. you want it to. Yeah, so I have things a, aren't I, overlapping. It's like, oh yeah, I can still read everything. Yeah, I have trouble with that with my um, with the Mac because um, I use the oh, can't think of what it is, but it's um, it's a certain feature of of um, moving around or like of taking taking you know your pick, it's Ken something and it and it allows you oh. to to get bigger. But when I do it on the Mac, it's like, if you start, if it start here and ends here, you know, so it's going to start here and then go here. Then all of a sudden, when you go to play it, it actually starts here and goes up here. And you're like, no, 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 start, stop, start, stop. And it's like, okay. So now it's like, okay, switch them around, start, stop. And so then it will go the way I want it to, but you have to remember that part. Stupid. Mm. stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I just so, remembered I have Final Cut Pro. So Final Cut Pro mm -hmm. should have to work off of a similar one as DaVinci. But yeah, mine had seven cores because I have the M1, but mm -hmm. mine's the Mac um, Book Air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I so was trying my best. I could. <laughs> yeah. But I think Final, Pro, Final Cut Pro is supposed to be um fairly good the da vinci yeah. resolve is the one that it's like it you it, it does have a steeper learning curve yeah um, well yeah i mean all the all the are, it, much, so. are okay. different from your character to a certain degree even premiere is like that adobe premiere is like that too i've tried adobe premiere before <laughs> I, know, mm. I know uh oh uh, cool okay yeah i've tried that oh. so can it clone it can clone can it clone iMovie since that's another one that usually comes with us. See, we paid extra for that stinking Final Cut Pro. Oh, you know, I'm, you know, it's like, I'm first when I go, I oh, myself. you know, Da Vinci can clone Final Cut. And you're like, oh, that's fascinating. But then yes. it's like, okay, but I don't use either of them. So it's not like, you know, it's like learning no, curve, learning do, curve. Can it do iMovie? <laughs> can it do iMovie? Because iMovie so is what usually comes with. 
most of the Apple products. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that would be if it's the same kind of setup as iMovie, I might be able to do it. Or Filmora is a little bit more stuff there. When you first are on that landing page, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's, more, there's so many out there. There's so many apps out there mm -hmm. and programs out there for doing this stuff, right? But, but I like ones that, that you're familiar with and you feel comfortable yeah. with, right? But it would I be mean, good I can to name off, use like, one. I'm sorry, but it would be good use to one like DaVinci where Google could pick up your clip and use it. And that mm. was what Roots and Refuge knew. So it would transfer like what they were using. And oh. I guess the edit. Well, she did use some iMovie, I think, in the beginning. Take your uh -huh. from Final Cut or Premiere and upload them in DaVinci. Sorry, oh, yeah. oh, oh. I thought it would like change the interface i guess is what you call it or your landing page so it looks like that um, oh okay. you're talking about like user interface the ui yeah so okay. it would become more of what you're familiar with mm -hmm. you can take your files from final but sometimes it's just knowing where where the things are on screen right the buttons or whatever or the drop menus and stuff like that and navigating through it and understanding what <laughs> yeah where things are yeah I mean, that's a lot it of it too. Yeah, I mean, like, tutorials out there trying to show as much as possible, you know, but sometimes you just got to go in and be like, oh, this is actually what it does if I actually press this. At this time, when, I, when I'm in this menu, this is what it does. So, hmm. even learning stuff about that could be game changer. It's like, what? I didn't know about this. I can, you know, it, it, it might allow you to have more control in terms of what you want to present. Like, oh, I can move this from over here to over here now. Mm -hmm. you know, I can yeah tell it to actually do that right that's mm -hmm. cool so you can well okay. we are we are at about 315 for those of you that have stuck it out with me i appreciate that and for those of you that have popped in and popped out again i appreciate that um but i think i should probably yeah. call it a night because yeah. it, well it's, it's late for cr you're am, you're more yeah. east i'm out west yeah oh, you're out west yeah. yeah i'm out west too remember that so. Oh, I thought you were. Uh, I thought no, you were. No, I'm not out east like Carol here. <laughs> She's way out there on the east side. Yeah, I thought you were in Ontario. No, no. Oh, just wait here. What is Sweet Thumb saying? There's a really simple way to learn software. Open every menu, open every feature, and try everything you can before you actually intend to use it. This will put you steps ahead for when you use it. Oh, Dad. yeah, 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 yeah. I would agree with that. And just try it out. Just. Just try it out and see what it does, right? And be like, okay, can I adapt that to a video later on, right? Know that kind of, this is what it does. Mm -hmm. Like, this transition actually does this if I apply it, right? And it's like, because oh. you're seeing how it actually transitions, the transition actually happens, what it does. Yeah. And stuff like that. And just start gaining that knowledge that that's how it does. So, if it works yeah. for a video for the next video you're doing, you'd be like, oh, this is the perfect transition because I know exactly what it does. Mm -hmm. For example, Ray. Yeah. Because you'd so be surprised what you play do. with it. So yeah, play. yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, this is what I also tell my friend is just like just just try stuff out, right? Even if like sometimes I'm just trying stuff out just to see how it works all together, <laughs> then later on I'm be like, Oh hey, now I can do this. <laughs> Cause now I can know I can recreate it again. Mm -hmm. that's good yeah. encouragement yeah. sweet thumb yeah I, I like that pretty hard to break software just try Thank everything because mm -hmm. yeah, that exactly. is the fear I, I, that we will break it mm -hmm. like no. that is well, exactly this, this, yeah this is what i said you know screw it up pra practice with it practice with it's like uh let's say you already had a project file from before then duplicate it and try it with that one right yeah so now you have a copy you're just working on the copy right so you won't affect your original one. And then you can just try stuff like this. Like, oh, what if I tried this? Oh, hey, it did work. And then maybe you want to, oh, I could do this again. And, you know. Yeah. You know, where you just tweak little things. Like, oh, I, for example, for me, sometimes I'm just like, I learned different things. I'm like, oh, now, now I can apply this. I just got to tweak the CR, this to the different CR that I have, right? Depending what works better in the <laughs> video for me. <laughs> thanks thanks gear have a good night take care dear mm -hmm. night 
I think we are. I'm gonna I'm gonna head out and then you can say goodnight to all your peeps. Mm-hmm. No, don't forget don't forget don't forget well, that I... thing, Carol. Hmm? Don't forget that thing. What thing? The update. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. I will probably <laughs> not touch it. Anyway, thank you all for Bye, coming Mary. in and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, CR, for hanging out. I appreciate that. And uh, we will be uh, back. This I feel like this was a really good. Um, hey, Ma- hey, Maureen, can I talk to you in the in the back back room for a little bit, if you don't mind, for a little bit, if you can, if you want. Sure. Yeah. Just let me close okay. out the live here. Yeah. Um. Uh. So yeah. Thank you very much all for coming and hanging out with me. And I will be back, I believe, next Saturday, same time, same place. But I, I just feel that this was. Um, it was very good for me to just kind of open up things of what are some of my struggles. And like I said, to be able to talk to um, CC and growing out of the box, you know, talking to real people who are doing real things and hearing your successes, that was uh, super encouraging. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, so I really do appreciate that. So anyway, good night. God bless. Be good to each Take other. Care, everyone. And uh, we will talk again soon. Just going to end this stream.